meeting is being live streamed. For those of you that don't understand that, it means it's on it's live stream on YouTube, but it's um it's on private. So it's just so you know, people that are on YouTube can't see it right now. All right, welcome everybody. My name is Deb Purcell. This is my husband Rick, and we're from, we're Hello. from Heal Teach Love dot org. Today is December. I can't even see the date. December tenth, two thousand twenty-two. And for those that are new, I'm going to introduce us uh, and the, I'll tell you a little bit about ourselves. Um, I have a really difficult time doing this, so I usually stumble on my words. But uh, I'm just not comfortable singing our praises. But uh, and I'm not quite sure why. But it happens every week that we do this. Every time we do this. But about six years ago, six or seven years ago. Um, some very miraculous things and highly spiritual events happened in our lives. While I was busy saying decrees my, and asking my guides to find my joy, I had no idea that I was raising my husband's, uh, uh, I was raising my husband's vibration while I was raising my own. He was asleep in the next room. My wish of finding my joy encompassed him without my knowing it, and he started to see orbs shortly after that, and then angelic beings, and then ascended masters, and, and then, a, then creator perfect white light came in uh, came one afternoon and merged his energy with my husband's after that everything changed Rick became a healer and I started receiving downloads of information our gifts have only increased since then as we continue to grow Rick has all the clairs as do I we share the same higher self during this journey as well it is our honor to be here today to assist you and your loved ones along with our esteemed associate Philip Barrow thank you Deb you're welcome and mine are always different because I never, I never read any. <laughs> I have to read it or else I'll just stumble and you know that, I do. I know. <laughs> for, any, for anyone who hasn't been on there, I've been, I started healing when I was five year old. I was healing my pet goldfish uh, called Ovid, actually. And uh, I had him in my hands. I was giving him a kiss of life and my hands glowed. And I would love to see that glow again, but I never have done. And it came back to life after two days and I jammed out dead. So it was quite a moving thing. But I thought, well, everyone's got the ability to uh, to heal. It's just that I started very, very young. I used to have people queuing up for places I used to at college and at school, at work, sorry, uh, for healing. And then uh, 23 years ago, uh, a course at Didsbury College for accredited healers. And I took the course two years. And uh, the person who was running it said I was natural anyway. They would have passed me anyway because of the energies I had. Uh, I really enjoyed doing it, uh, but it made me so I, I could heal everyone I had insurance as well, which was good. Uh, but I've noticed over the years, you can connect with aspects of your past lives. These aspects you can partially merge, and by partially merging, you can gain knowledge from these past lives. And the best thing to do with this knowledge is to give it everyone who wants the uh, wants wants the knowledge, basically, uh, freely. There's no things wrong with that. Uh, recent ones are like crystal source being, uh, crystal source being. That little tap there in my head lost me track. Uh, the other thing is I've started using high aspects energies like the twenty second chakra, Christ consciousness. And you can feel it flowing through you, yeah, and you can actually feel it in, in the person. And it's great to actually change someone's life around, basically. Uh, I also do college, uh, school teaching, uh, starseed children, crystal therapy, uh, teach judo uh, of all grades, and what else do I do? And I do accredited healing on a Tuesday night. I heal my patients. That's about everything I do. I do these lovely courses with you and Deb. With Deb and Rick's on. Okay. I'll be to you then, Deb. Thank you. Do you want to start it by clearing anything or doing light language here? I think if we just do some heavy breathing. But when we do heavy breathing, you breathe for five seconds, you're breathing from your, your heart chakra and just let it out slowly for free and then breathe again. Do three or four of them. Just close our eyes and then get in the balance. And what I'll do is I'll send protection into the group. I think sometimes I think the group needs protection from the IT users. But just close your eyes. Nice big breath. A uh, nice big breath in. Hold it there. I'm sending, uh, while we're doing this, let it out. I'm sending Christ consciousness to the old group of my 22nd chakra. Do that three or four times. Clearing anything that's not what 
about wanted tools, unwanted energies. And that's it. <coughs> All right, Deb. Thank you. Lily, you want to go ahead? Oh, okay. <laughs> the first one is Liliana. She is asking for a scan for herself and baby Miranda. Let me get Miranda's picture up. I will get it from my Facebook. Still sick, but we are doing a lot better than last week. So thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you, really. Your daughter first. Yeah, we'll do Miranda first. If that's all right. Picking up that um, she's got um a heart issue. Just a timing issue with her heart. So we're going to correct that. Thank you. She had um diarrhea. Mm, not while she's with me. She's at her dad's right now, so I'll ask him. So, her stomach's got an inflammation, so I'm wondering if she's got a little stomach problems or, and her intestines are a little inflamed. It could be that just the, whatever's going on, like, does she have the dripping like? It's because she's unable to throw them out, so she's been eating all the mucus. Uh, so it, that's, you know, that's what's causing her inflammation and because sometimes it makes them stick to their stomach. Yes, I think it's that. Did we do the toxins from the vac uh, um, lollipops that they gave her? Last week. Do you see something right now? Yeah, I, yeah, I think there's a, um, a can, well, you're picking up like an allergy, almost like a, a reaction. Bill, what are you picking up? I've, whatever it is, it's cleared now. I'm cleared some in the lungs and I've, I've done like a full cleanse on it. Yeah. Like a star seed angel. <laughs> He's, she's a little angelic. She's um got beautiful energy. She's um actually from Raphael and Mother Mary's um, line. Did you, pick that up? Did you pick that up, Bill? Just doing the work. <laughs> what? <laughs> I picked up that she was angelic and she was yes. star seed. Yeah, she's, so she, um, needed, she needed a bit of clarity. Yeah. yeah. She's you know, she, ha she has a crush with Mother Mary. Since, she's she, a... since she's super little, like months, she has a crush with her and she asks me like for status and that kind of things. You know, I don't follow the dogma, so I don't have like status, but she asks me and she's, she's always like, let's, let's talk to Mother Mary. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mother Mary is uh, the divine. Uh, yes. Answer to uh, Archangel Raphael, and that's one of uh, Phil is a walk-in of, and he's a. <laughs> that's one of Phil. Philip is Archangel Raphael's. Uh, wow! Wow! Yeah, and that's why she's she's from that line as well. Mm, so nice. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> the Mother Mary started talking to me and saying that she um she's with her often. She's very she's very much with her. Oh. And uh, she said that I'm doing healing on her. And I said, oh, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm so glad. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. Do you think that heart issue had to do with the last uh, lollipops you got? Um, we're, we're not doctors, but... Yeah. <laughs> they're so toxic now. Anyway. Okay. She should be really, she should be a lot better. And um, the, the repairs were all done with her electronics on her heart. Thank you so much. Yeah. Well, Thank yeah, you. I went back into the 11th chakra and uh, transferred, reversed everything. I also put in like a bubble of, uh, uh, a bubble of, uh, sorry, I'm just gonna wait until, a bubble of uh, Christ consciousness, like a bag of it around, like wrapped her in it to try and cleanse anything else in the aur auroric field. Thank you so much. All right, now for you, Missy. Do you have a picture of your ex-husband? Um, yes, I have one. Well, I can look for one. You can't what? She's gonna look for Do you want a picture of my ex? Yeah, I have a feeling he's doing something. Um, let me, let me send you one through Facebook. I don't know if I, I don't know if he's doing something, but maybe he's mom. If well, not, what or... I've got, I've got a new, new trick. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put an halo 
but it's going all over you. It's going to suck any energy that's not for your highest good. And if anybody is sending anything, it'll send it back. Okay. Yeah? Okay. Your little trick. But uh, if you send the picture to Devlin. Okay, I'll send Obviously, you don't want it on, on YouTube or whatever. Okay. Yeah, let him do that because I... I'm getting I'm getting messages. I'm gonna send you that that picture through Facebook. You might feel like a breeze or some energy around you. I'm gonna to try to look for another one. And, what, and the 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 problem is he wasn't expecting his daughter to get sick from it too. He he wasn't expecting what? He wasn't expecting Miranda to get sick too. That's the whole thing. You got sick, and then there's and then Miranda got sick too. The both of you got sick from it. But. Miranda was sick. I was the last one to get sick. No? You got Miranda got it first? Yes, a few days first. Keeps, I don't know why you can show me your ex-husband. I think I know what he looks like. Yes, I'm looking for a picture because it's a long time I, I don't make pictures with him. So I'm just trying to find one that you can see his face. Mm. I don't have so much communication with him, but um, he was very mad. You can remember that. Yeah. He was super mad. That's all right. We can talk about this later. Okay. But I, you know, I want that. That's the messages I'm getting. Is he Mexican? No, he's Spanish from Galicia. Oh, here I found one. Okay, it's sent. Thank you. You feel any different? I haven't done any healing yet, but <laughs> did you I, I feel anything? Like, hmm? I feel like like uh, like a breeze around. What it is, it's sucking any unwanted energies off you. Hopefully, it might not be just. Uh, uh, some people can hurt people, and not know it, just by their mind. They can manifest pain for someone, and they don't even realise. But whatever it is, it's sent back to the uh, receiver, to the sender. Uh, that's what you were feeling, all that. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. I'll send you some healing. Yeah, that's that's it's him. Yeah. Or I think it's her actually. Her. Oh, his mother. Mainly. I think it's yeah. both mainly. But Oh, he his mother don't likes me at all. Yeah. No, none of her daughters in law mm, she didn't like us. No. Well. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. a typical mother in law, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> And, and I don't know, I think she's super mad with me also. But for example, this Christmas, Miranda is going with to her house with he, with her dad. I'm not going. She's going alone to Galicia. I don't know why she's so mad uh, still. I don't know, but there's a lot of, um, it's, and I, I don't understand it. I am the mother of, of, of boys, of sons. I don't have daughters. Yeah. And I love my daughter-in-law. And, you know, I didn't have girls. and. I, there's some mothers that um, they don't, there's nobody good enough for their boys. So I'm like, I don't know how you put up with them. But I, I'm very blessed that you put up with them. <laughs> I know it's very, it's very weird how some mothers um, are. Like I have an aunt that she's also like that, like with uh, the daughter's husbands, everything's okay. But with her daughter-in-law, it's like, it, she's not enough. And we always say, tell her, like, don't be like that. <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't understand it. I just don't. Yeah, don't, don't, I, don't own her anger. Just love her anyway. Send love to her and everything. Don't, yeah. don't go into her vibration. But, uh, Lily's not like that. No. You know, you're not like that. You don't, you don't send anybody anger. No, no, no. no. It, you see them as a child and it's a competition for love that's often what it is and they they just haven't grown up enough to be able to see that it's adding than losing it's just bewilderment i still don't get it because my um you know my brother was married to an italian woman and uh her the mother has no no use for girls at all her my brother my brother and his ex-wife had um two girls and she only had use for boys grandsons it's weird. Yeah. It's just weird. Yes. Since I've been divorced, it's been a relief first by my ex-husband and then by his mom. <laughs> I'm sorry to say this, but the energy was like, no. Last time I was at her house, uh, I came out of her house like sick. Once the vacations went over, it was like I was dying to come back home. It was horrible. I was like wanting to vomit. It was horrible. Wow. 
Mm. You feel better? You feel any warmth? If some more healing going on um, in your head, down into your chest and your respiratory, your intestines, your stomach, because you also have the dripping when you're sleeping. Uh -huh. I also saw, I think, Phil, you were, you were doing that same thing over her. I saw some energy going through her whole body, her whole system. So again, both of you will have the seven days of energy staying with you, and then it just get absorbed. What do you have to say, Phil? Yeah, have you had like a bit cold lately then? Yeah, like a cold, cold yeah. Yeah. I, I've, I've created a, a new being of mine that eats the mucus. <laughs> so you might feel that a bit clearer now. Thank his you. Job, his job is to eat it. So, yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, so you you, yeah do... take several days. Are you going to do cards today, Phil? Yeah. <laughs> so is when. Yeah, I checked your house too. I don't feel any negative energies there. Thank you. Hey, your mother-in-law reminds me of a dark shadow. <laughs> yeah. As well I, as think she, I think she. I think that you need to be wary of her, even with your daughter, because I think she started this whole thing with your daughter. With my daughter. Yes. I think he's mad because he's super like. I don't know if he got a lollipop or not because while we were married, that was like the big fight. He wanted me to get it. I never got it. My my daughter officially never got it also. And uh, I did told him like we were already bad, but I told him if you get the lolly the, the lollipop, we're not having any more children. So a lot of problems started and that stuff. And I think then he got scared about the lollipop, but wasn't he was not going to let me know he was scared about it that I he's not getting it but i don't know since we divorced i don't know if he got it or not but he's always super scared of getting sick so now that he has to have miranda some days it's like he don't it's want just, is it a watch. stop yeah oh, i'm sorry stop <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry you can stop now Phil. <laughs> thank you so self -accept self acceptance and trust. Uh -huh. So the trust part, you've got to let all this past go. It's blessings, just let it go. Let, let the angels take it away. self acceptance you're too difficult for yourself. Start loving yourself more. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. And one for your daughter. She's just having healing up, that's all. What is this? Healing. So for your daughter, what that means is, I wouldn't stop, I wouldn't focus on her too much. The healing will just take over if you get what I mean. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. You're, You're welcome. welcome. Thank you. Go to the next one. Yes. Jacket dear, Jacket Hoover. Asking for scan and any message. Okay. Thank you, Lily. Hi, Jackie. Hello, hello, Phil. How are you? I'm fine. Are you having back issues? No. I see something on your lower back. Like you have a little bulging disc there, right above your, like right at the, your lower back, right above your your uh, root chakra. Maybe future. Yeah, maybe future. There's a bulging disc, I see it. Mm. Could be future. I don't feel it now. I don't feel pain like a lot of people feel pain. I don't feel it as strongly. Yeah, and she's pretty good actually, though. Okay, that's swelling down. You feel energy there from us doing that? I feel it a little bit higher than my root chakra. Just a little yeah, bit that's, higher yeah, than that. Yeah, that's where I'm talking about, exactly okay. where I'm talking about. That's um, where the disc is. A little below the belt line. In yes, between. exactly. Exactly Sacral, what I'm talking about. Sacral chakra. Yeah. Sacral, yes. Yeah, about there. That's where the disc is that's, that's bulging. And that's where I'm, we're repairing it. Thank you. Because I did not know about that. Thank you. Okay, now we're straightening your hips. They have been hurting. Well, and that's probably from the disc bulging. It's going to show up somewhere where that because of that disc, and it's showing up in your hip. Jackie, do you feel tired a lot in the morning when you wake up? I feel tired all the, all the time. Yeah. All the, that's that's yeah. one reason I'm here today. Right. I'm, I'm giving you giving you some of my chi energy. In the Thank you. Just build up your life force. Yeah. Pro, your own chi energy can repair aura fields and build up your own life, the other person's life for us. You been waking up at night? I don't wake up at night. I sleep well, but I wake up very, very tired. 
you think you've been busy at night? I did have a visitation last night, and it was to do with my aunt who died many, many, many years ago. And I think her pharmacist husband was drugging her and with opium, and opium is the word I got. And I could feel the pressure beside me on the bed. And I said, that's okay, you can be here, you can be here. It's okay if you're here. Um, did you see her? No, but I knew she was there. Closest thing I had to a grandmother. You feel better with that chi energy? I feel my heart chakra feels bumpity bump. I was trying to scan your house. I've got, you've got a spiritual dog there, haven't you? <laughs> a spiritual dog? Yeah. I don't oh. know if it's one of yours in the past. It, it is one I of hers. It, it is one, one of hers. I don't talk dogs. <laughs> I mean, um, that's perfectly fine. Yeah. She has I've, she has a few favorites, but it's, I think it's her closest. Is, I think it's your favorite one. What was the name of that dog? That is it a black black one? There was Sorry. Misty. Misty was black. Millie was spotted. Little dog was a, a mixture of a little uh, terrier. Uh, pick one. <laughs> well, it's say, it, it said hello, but I was checking to see if anything was taking the energy. He said hello. That would be little dog. Something's taking my energy though because I sleep a lot. I sleep well. Um, she's doing it in the astral. Something she's doing in the astral. When you go to sleep, just before, tell your spirit or soul that you just need to get some of your energy back. You can't do all the work. It's, it's draining your draining you when you come back. Yeah. And to whom or what am I giving this energy? How am I losing it? To yourself. I'm using. You're you're using it. I'm using but you, it. You, when you're coming back, you need you're doing too much. So you need to refresh. But I I'm doing too much at night when I'm asleep. Right. Or I'm doing too much during the day because I don't do much during the day. Too much at night. Too much at night. Too much at night that I'm unaware of. Then okay. Yeah. In the astro, when you're you know you know when, when your physical body's laying down sleeping, you're your astral body is out working. So you're using too much of your energy. Well, I would heal every dog in the world, absolutely, <laughs> if I could. <laughs> That's a daunting task. Mm. You're out there doing something. Maybe do a mantra when you get up. <laughs> Archangel Michael just said, she's out there doing the good fight. <laughs> she's, she's out there doing the good fight. She do, she's fighting the good fight. <laughs> fighting the good fight. Sometimes when you give messages like that, the computer will go and it's, it's it knows that a good message is coming through. Energy, good energy is coming through. Yeah, that, that, that was from that was from Archangel Michael to you. <laughs> okay, fighting the good fight. Okay, I have recently agreed to, or my choice, to help a young man set up his shop to sell some uh, used items that he has, clothing and so forth. I don't think that is bothering me, and I don't think he is bothering me. And he is seeking spiritual knowledge. He's very, very hungry for spiritual knowledge. So I think he's a. In fact, he cried the other day, and I was. Oh my goodness. But um, so I don't. I just want to make sure that's not it. I don't think that is it. No. I'm showing you the little shop, and um, I don't think that is it. No. So I think this is okay. What I'm doing. Yeah. Okay. So and then I don't know about the animals and the animals. Yeah, again, Archangel animals Michael. Archangel Michael's reminding you. You begged for this. You begged. Please send me people that you know that need me, that want me, that, that need spiritual. That I want spiritual people in my life. <laughs> Be careful what you ask for. <laughs> he is the one. There's just yes. I would like my neighborhood to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I just you take. Well, when you, they well come. that when they come. You know, they have to. They have to want to be spiritual. Yeah, we can't shove it down their throat. They have to want it too. This but he wants it. He wants it. Oh, amazingly. So I've been. Yeah. Just, I just. And this, this you wanted too. You wanted somebody to want you to talk to them about this. Yeah. This you um, really wanted. Yeah. So this is exciting for you. It is. I just now I've got to try to figure out. Sometimes the questions. Some of the questions are above my head. I said, I said take it up. Just take it up because that's above me. You know, just ask your guide, your your uh, angels, your write it down and, and and bring it back. Write it down and bring it back. Bring it to Christine. I could do that. I could do that. He's going way back into the biblical times, and he's bring it to very, Christine. Very, she's it's, the she's it's the a theologian. <laughs> and I, I told him of her existence. He he knows of her existence. Um, hungry, hungry, hungry though, which is good. Which is good. Yeah. I've got a bit on Atlantis. Uh, I've also put a little code in to your field in case someone is taking your energy well, realizing. You, you never know. We can have energy vampires in our This is true. 
this is true. Thank you. Am I supposed to say something like stop now? Yes, you read my mind. Of course. Don't forget you have no, I, I, you're doing the the healing the energy. Here. Don't forget the healing energy is in you for seven days. Drink a lot of water. Yes, ma'am. You've got the first card is power. You've got the power of the creator, the divine okay. love and wisdom. And also, the, it's like gaining your power back, especially with the arm in it. The angel is saying, let go of your troubles. Just let them go. And mine are so minor compared to so many people, but still, you know, they affect you. Okay. okay. Thank you. How do you feel? You feel better now? I feel better now. I feel better. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Sure. I will mute somewhere. Go to the next one. Ryan asking for any, uh, for in anything in implants or parasites. Ryan. Hey, Ryan. <laughs> How's it going? Yeah. How's it going with you? Oh, I've been in a bit of a battle, like maybe just residue from the parasite, but um, in a bit of a battle. But, uh, I think it's just had to go. I had to experience that lesson, you know. But um, let's see. What time is it there now? Is it four in the morning? It's yeah, about five now. Five in the morning. Wow. Yeah, I was pretty out of it waking up. Like <laughs> I was in a weird dream, but. Got something on his back. Where are you picking these up, Ryan? Yeah, I don't know. Like, what, what was your dream? What are your dreams? I'm just about. talking to people, like talking to people uh, in certain places, like uh, just what sort of places? <laughs> like schools, like schools, or and back to my like, like where I used to, where I came from, like when um, I was younger, like my old house, going to my old house and. Is this a talking dream or is this for real that you were doing? No, dream. Dream. I'm talking to people and Yeah, it might be real, I might. Um, Phil, this thing on his back keeps flashing that it's a moth, a humongous moth, his whole back. <laughs> and, or uh, going from a moth to a cockroach. Moth to cockroach. Co wow. Moth to cockroach. Does that mean there's two of them on top of each other? I mean it's a moth, cockroach, moth, cockroach. Or is it just changing it itself? You feel anything on your back? Yeah, I feel like in my throat and in my stomach, really. But my back, I'm pretty numb in my body. Like I'm I pretty haven't even numb. looked at your throat yet or your stomach. Well, let's do your back for right now. Then we'll go to your throat. And, oh no! Oh, I oh, your throat. You got something in your throat too, and your stomach. Where are you picking these up, Ryan? I may, my auric field is probably just relief. So I don't know. You've got more parasites again. I mean, you are loaded. They're just coming for you. I hope you don't mind me saying this, Ryan. Have you ever had an addiction and you willed things in? Um, back in the day, I used to be on a lot of crazy things. and um, but I was I just thinking it, if someone got your blueprint code to get through your field, it's not an easy thing. But to, to them, it seems it's dead easy. It seems that you're open to it all. I had a feeling like that. Like I just thought that was, uh, my soul, a bit of my soul someone has, you know, and they get free will. Mm. I've given my power away. like. Um, so I've been very suicidal many times, you know, and um, a lot of these uh, contr mind controls, they're sending you these impulses, if you get what I mean, it's not you, yeah. it's actually outside. That's how my dreams feel, like they feel like that. Um, uh, yeah, I think I've given my power away, like cause I've been not really wanting to be here, you know, be down here, so it's like no protection. But you know, if the people that commit suicide, they have to start this life all over again from an infant because you yeah. haven't you haven't done your lesson yeah i know that's why i know that's why i haven't killed myself because i know I'm <laughs> you have to do again. it all over yeah <laughs> it's not like you yeah. skip anything the the dark, yeah, dark, yeah. Dark, dark beings give, give messages into you had to do that that's what we want yeah to do. i used to have that a lot too like it was, i called it a program i would say like you know um you know just go just leave like um you know it's easy like and uh I just felt for that, like, you know, you have to clean you up and all that. So I don't really want to even be a burden to that. <laughs> Might feel a bit of warmth trying to burn them out. Can you feel that? Yeah, I feel lightness. I'm shifting a past life, actually. I should have spotted this. Oh, I didn't. It's as though you were melting, you know, dying with burn injuries slowly. Yeah. Like a sacrifice. Yeah, I feel like I've been sacrificed. A volcanic sacrifice. Wow. 
and that part of your aspect needs release and needs to die, which I'm trying to Did you feel that shift off you? Did you feel some shift there? Yes. You, your aspect was still there in like a demigod volcano sort of consciousness and it's been shifted and cleansed and it's gone back to yoga so quite fascinating. I've never yeah, seen you, you. It looked like you were coal in a way. <laughs> it's very weird. Yeah. Coal? Yet yeah, I was melting in a volcano. Yeah. Yeah. Sacrifice to the volcano gods. <laughs> right, I'll have to get rid of these parasites. And if that had anything to do with it, I don't, it could be a separate thing or it could be something to do with the old mix, I don't know. Hey? Do you feel hot? Yeah, I feel hot and I feel like a shift too, a number shift. But I have been quite hot lately because I've been fighting this, this parasite um, in my throat. You have to heat them up to get rid of them. I got it from a person, I'm pretty sure, like in the physical. Um, and then uh, it allowed me to get it, get things through the astral, I'm assuming. Yeah, what you can do before you go to sleep is tell your brain to go to 106 uh, Fahrenheit. Dead eye temperature for five minutes. It burns it out. You can't live in our bodies. That's why we, we have fevers. It not only gets rid of our normal illness, it also gets rid of these spiritual parasites. Thank you. So 106 is like, oh, like 30, 40 hertz. 30. 40, 80. Just about 39, 40. It's it pretty hot. Like, yeah. Five minutes. I feel like two, that. Yeah, okay. Not two five minutes. minutes. Wow, feeling? okay. That's cool. You can turn it. Can turn up the the knob. Turn the heat for five minutes. Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll give I'll give that a go. Yeah. It does work. You could get blobules of sweat, or you, it could actually make you. But it's a good thing, I suppose. You don't want it inside. But uh, most of it's all been cleared anyway. I think all of it's been cleared. But it's just whether we found out how it's getting in. Uh, you yeah, need to protect tricky. yourself more. You need to put protection and stuff like that. Yeah, if you were in high vibration all the time, you won't be coming in. With yeah, I think I'm just in a low vibe, eh? For sure. It's hard to you when you're not like, you know, you just can get through, I don't know, uh, to enjoy this whole experience. Like, uh, I look around and go, How, you know, what's the whole purpose? What's the whole purpose? Why, why did they sign up? <laughs> yeah, it's not my, yeah, I just want to go back wherever. I'm shuffling sure now. Stop. <sighs> All right, divine timing. Divine timing basically means uh, your prayers are being answered and you should be celebrating because the intent, you're, you've got intentions to change your life at the moment, haven't you? Yeah, you, well. You, you've got a project in your mind that's saying it, it's going to happen. Okay. It is. Thank you. Thank you. Take it easy, guys. Have you got out to say, Deb? Good. You look, yeah. so much, you look so much better without insects on your back. <laughs> Giant, yeah, true. giant insect. <laughs> You're much more attractive now. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Do you know it in your throat? It's like a little lizard sort of frog thing. I've never seen one of them before. Oh God! Oh. I didn't even want to. I didn't want to talk about the. <laughs> <laughs> it was like between. If you mix a lizard and a frog, you've got what was in your mouth. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, it felt pretty weird, eh? You really have to stop hanging around with those people. <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> no more people for me. That's my that's my lesson. That was my lesson. <laughs> no, you can hang around with people. Just be more dis more dis Discern. choosy. <laughs> yeah, discerning. Sure, yeah. <laughs> you can't tell by looking at them sometimes, you know. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Yeah, let me test your energy. <laughs> what vibration are you? If they say, huh? Yeah. Ah, no, I'm not going to have anything to do with you. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Thank you. <laughs> that's welcome. true. It's true. <laughs> oh, okay, Lily. In the next one, I place myself here. I would like to request for body scan and maybe a message. Our Lily? Yeah. Yep. What's going on, hon? Oh, scan. Okay. Okay. Scan and maybe a message. Something in the back of your head, right here. Yeah. Still, it looks like an implant. What I'm picking up, I don't really want to say this. You've got, you know, someone who's been doing dark stuff on you, aren't you? It's correct, isn't it? In the past. Yeah. I got what? 
someone to get wishing you dark stuff. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. And you was... get you are getting a little bit more and I've just created the able sucked it all out and sent it back. But I can put a stamp on that so they're getting it twice as bad. Mm. So they should be doing it at the end of the day. And I wonder if it is it anything to do with that or not, I don't know. The implant. I don't know. This is a different one. I've never seen like this. It, it's um it almost looked like what's the thing they fly? Um a drone? No, that like they people can take pictures with them or videos. A drone. A, a drone. drone. Oh yeah, a drone. Yeah. That's what it looks like in the back of her head. Like on the, the neck, the back of the skull right there where the neck and the, the head meet. It's like that. Like looks like a kind of beige color. <sighs> Got four legs. Oh, it goes out like the drone. Got a little mi- piece in the middle. Oh. It looks. I mean, it looks big, but it's actually probably small because they make it. They they. Yeah. Look, they look, it, it's probably microscopic, but they let it let me see it it's big, so I can mm. see it with my eye. But the last days, my my throat is always closed. Like I have to cough so much to because it's closed. Well, that. Yeah, from sometimes, above. sometimes, yeah, and, and you'll get anxiety from it because you you, you feel like there's something foreign in your body. So mm-hmm. then you then you're getting anxiety, mm-hmm. and that can cause you feeling. That's the first thing that that you know, you've always had the you know throat thing. It's mm-hmm. Always about your throat. It's always as soon as you feel something foreign in your body. I mean, we've had your throat problems before. Mm-hmm. And there was something there, mm-hmm. but now it's back here. Yeah, it's back here, like. Yes, but now it's gonna bother your throat. Okay, I know I've got something foreign, and it's <laughs> your throat's bothering you again. But it's no, back no, not necessarily the, the the throat before. This is different. Like in the morning, like it is close here. It, from here to here, it's close. Uh, I have. Uh, to... <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's close. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Weird. Mm-hmm. It's always it's always in the same area for you though. Isn't that weird? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I think the implant and the uh, mucus is all linked because one of my spiritual friends wanted to eat the. Uh, she got a tracker. She got a tracker in her foot too. Left one. In the foot. In your foot. Yes. You have in a tracker. Yes, in your I, left one. It's painful here. Here. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yes. I just said you, you got a tracker in your left foot. I felt it yesterday. I said, oh, I hope I can walk. <laughs> it's here still. Yeah. Might feel it being removed, don't you? Yeah, it's been. They have something started. It looked like they started putting something in on their bottom right, uh, just above her hip, just to the left of her hip bone on the right hand side. It's just started. I don't know what they were going to do, but there's something there. So, like a beige device, like the one behind her head. It looked like they were putting a piece in. Mm, they, make me, they will make me a robot? They were. Yeah, I don't know they were, whether they were putting in another implant or what. Okay. Other than that, you're very healthy. Thank you. They should not disturb me. Mm, they did this, what, a couple weeks ago? Mm-hmm. How's your foot now? It's, I cannot feel it. Good. I used to Go make on. it like that because it was painful and I'm afraid I cannot walk, so I keep on turning it around. No, no. My, my two spiritual friends are competition of who eats what. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, you know, I've never seen them. It's funny. Good. You, okay. you, your throat's you. just being done. A, no, your throat's still being done a lot, but I've, I've put out like a more. I built your aura or, or field a bit stronger to stop these going. Mm-hmm. To say stop. No, stop. Yeah. So you need to do a bit of. Hmm? Medita- meditation. Meditation. Yeah, just if your mind's ever fuzzy, just calm it down and hear the angel. And hear some angelic meditation. That's what he's saying. Yeah, and divine timing. Prayers are being answered. So. Okay. Wow. Mm-hmm. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Thank you. And the next one we have Gillian Spooner requesting for body scan. Hi. Hi, Gillian. <laughs> Are you disappointed? I'm laughing already. <laughs> Did they boo downstairs? No. <laughs> French discard, that's what. I haven't seen you, Yeah. Okay. Your eyes look good. You feel good? 
Um, yeah, I'm okay if I look to the right, but if I look to the left, like I'm having look away from the screen a bit, um, I'm getting a bit of double vision still. Okay. And we've got a lot going on. There's something behind the eyes. Oh. There's a portal in her hallway closet in the wall. When you open the door, it's on the straight ahead. So there's some kind of um, something coming in. I'm going to have to close one eye so I can see you properly. Yeah, I need to do something about that portal because you're continually getting some kind of shards in your metal shards in. They've got something behind that eye and I'm, I have a feeling it's more metal. It is, you've got a sh something going into your head behind your eye and it's metal. It looks metal. It's a purpose. How does it feel? Yeah, I've still got double vision. Not as not as bad, but it is there. Yeah, it's it's still when I look to the left. Yeah, it's still there. Still? I'm quick trying to sort it out. Can you feel that? I'm just getting it. I'm holding my phone and it, my arm was getting a bit cramped with it. Yeah, I'm getting um um, two images, one on top of the other, and one slightly to the left. When I look to the left, yeah, yeah, I can't. That's me. No, I look straight ahead as well. These images are stacked a bit. Mm, is that a bit better? No. Yeah, I see two, two images clear, and one's on top of the other, but one's to the left. Yeah, I can't look at that. You feel any of the images? No. You don't feel our energy and none of us? Neither of us? No, but um, since the live's been on, I've heard um, a homing frequency along with the, the other frequencies I've heard today. And I've lost some time today and I didn't realise till I came on the Zoom. Wow. I was like busy in the kitchen today and I thought that shouldn't take an hour tops, but it seems to have taken over three. And while we were on the Zoom, I had um, two searing pains on the right and left side of my brain as well. And I've had um, cramped muscles on my right and left calf, um, but the right leg shifted and the left one uh, has been cramped until I was on the Zoom. And I had, felt like something went in the side of my right, inside of where my right knee is, but on the inside of the leg. That was while we were on the Zoom, while you were recording. And I've got um, that patch back on the bottom of my left foot that's been there a while. Because mm. I can feel that. So can we close up that portal, whatever is getting in there? Yeah. I know, because I'm not sure if that's where I've been today. Yeah, we've got to stop them getting in, and then we need to clear up what's attacking you. Because there's no way I've, I've used four hours today when... It's only when I sat still when you started this recording today that I thought there's no way that those hours today I've got no um, recall, full recall. Hmm. Well, we started an hour and a half ago. Yeah, but um, I think it was from about two o'clock till about ten to six. I've done very little, but I've not. Doesn't feel like I've stopped. I just can't account fully for that time. Mm. I'm not sure if something that's the same portal fill that you that we that you closed the last time. So I don't know how it's getting opened again unless they've got a backup or recreation. Have you got device. a stream have you got a stream or anything water underneath where you were? It's um the back of where the portal is, because I think it opens both sides, is a downstairs toilet to the other side of the wall. Mm. But there's no stream. I can feel some energy now on the left hand side of me, lower back. How do you feel now, Jerry? I felt some energy shifting on my left side, uh, lower, like from my waist on my back, from the waist down. Uh, and I've got a mild stinging feeling on my crown chakra. 
I, I was going to I was going to the eleventh chakra and I accidentally went into the six D chakra and I found one of your aspects is like a blue being, star being. Yeah. It's like Avatar. It's quite strange. Yeah. yeah. So that's the energy where it came from. It came from the galactic chakras. I'm not sure why. Yeah, I've got a uh, still got a mild stinging down my crown. Um, have you picked up anything um, about what was on me, both my calf muscles? I I've, just done a, I've just done a full cleanse. I didn't know whether I'd cleared the right one myself or whether it had moved around and it was hiding, that was all. Yeah, I was just clearing uh, all I saw is that black energy coming off you. I, I don't know where that came from when I was doing the clearing. Is there any, anything about um, today? How would I know that? <laughs> It doesn't tell. It doesn't tell me when you got it. Hasn't got a date stamp. <laughs> no, I don't mean that. I meant um, about where. About where you went. Yeah. Normally, normally, you, to, to be able to do that, you've gone into sort of dimensional, and not you? Or time lineage. Yeah, that's yeah. where I thought I drifted off somewhere. I didn't know whether I was picking things up as I was doing it though, because I didn't do it intentionally. I wasn't consciously aware of it until afterwards. I once accidentally uh, uh, lost six hours by going out of the matrix. So it's possible by falling out and come back in time, you've lost all the hours. Because yeah. obviously time is different from our world, so it's probably dimensional. Yeah, um, Holly's, my daughter's become really poorly today. Um, I'm wondering if I've got anything bleeding from her because my throat chest feels a bit off. Mm. I noticed today my um, voice when I was out and about, you know, was altering. Yeah. It feels a bit off now. It could be uh, partly merging with this galactic being. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's funny how it just came in very easily. It, it seems like it's waiting um, to integrate, but I'm not sure what's blocking it. Because I'm not doing anything consciously. Yeah. I think it's just a ride and it just time, takes time. Okay. Remember your vibration you've got to change a little bit to allow for it. And uh, it's, it's had contact, it's met, it's shown itself and it's, it slowly, partially merges it. Which you look, look, it looks good, looks powerful. Thank you everyone. You've got to say stop. Stop. Be nice actually. Uh, balance and extra blessings. The balance is basically if you need any help, just ask the guardians <laughs> and blessings is, if, if yeah, it's far, isn't it not far off to say, actually? Both of them saying, if you need any help, ask your guides, yeah. I've been, uh, you know, I think they've been uh, Christmas shopping. Uh, ask this galactic guide, then. Yeah. Yes, I will. Mean, thank you. Thank you, Deb. Thank you, Ray. Yeah. Yeah, thank You're welcome. You. I dissolved all those um, metal things. I know, I'm thank goodness. Never, hopefully they're all gone. Well, they're all gone now. Yeah. <laughs> thank yeah. you. You're welcome. So we go to the next one. Yes, ma'am. Bonnie. Hey, everybody. Hi, Bonnie. Hi. Uh, Let's see what we see here. <laughs> Don't roll your eyes at me, Miffy. <laughs> These last two weeks have been very challenging. Mm, I think everybody can say that. Oh, yeah. Well, let's see. I see your back going down your spine. I see your arms, your hands. Let's see your hips, your legs. What have you been doing? Even your jaw. Let's see. Don't open your, your mouth that Why <laughs> Your jaw. Even your jaw is hurting. Did somebody hit you? <laughs> um, metaphorically, maybe. The individual that I was helping has since moved out. Um, what she was connected to was some really nasty, nasty stuff. So she moved in with a neighbor and did it there and then moved somewhere else and did it there too. So I, I don't even, my only concern is I'm a very optimistic person and uh, it finding out, you know, three to four weeks after the fact of, um, it had to do with a connection with the Italian mafia and and another like a Cherokee family line and now I don't know I'm just flat out exhausted I lived upstairs from one of the, a guy from the mafia a long time ago well it also um, did damage to my two adult sons which I only just now found out so 
Do they even exist now? What city are you in? I'm in Asheboro, North Carolina. Oh, uh, well, yeah, I, Asheville, yeah. Asheboro. Asheboro? I was supposed to go to Asheville, but um, let's just say family members who use force with their will and went against sources put me in a very precarious situation. So, and I knew the last time was it was directly connected to my financial abundance and everybody said, don't think that, but I'm feeling it and knowing that that's what it was. And then I got a text message from my ex's family member that connected the dots for me. No, I wasn't shocked, but at the same time, I am not in a good place in multiple ways. And only to find out the individual who was living here was exasperating or whatever it was. But in any event, it came to a head Thanksgiving, big time. So I'm still cleaning up the mess. I took the mattress, everything out of that room. I just don't know what was open because I can't feel for it, but it's my head really that's... Um... There's nothing, there's nothing. I can't feel anything in your house. All I know is the only thing that, that's in there is anything that you create right now because she took it with her. I can tell you that. She took it with her. And all the um, all the the feelings that I have are, um, on you are just uh, from tension and anxiety. Yeah. Well, so, it's true because once again, I'm facing eviction because somebody messed with my accounts. And when I told the people, you know, I just need another day and my client did it the manual way and sent me a certified check, they went ahead and threw me into eviction 12, 12 days before the 30th and it's like i need out of it so and it affected the animals as well because they were getting hurt physically hurt what was she doing in the room do you know anything um she had a lot of neurotic behavior saying one thing and doing something i don't think she really intended to do harm however she wasn't um willing you know to even come on these calls consistently after the last call that she was on with you guys it was within a week that she made plans to move in with the neighbor because I wasn't helping her. It's like, I don't know how you can say that. But then she lied, you know, to, to gain favor. And I kept getting this impression. She was doing these sympathy spells, poor, poor, pitiful me. I've been a victim and I, I couldn't get her out of that, but it was affecting me because it was completely draining my energy. She was very negative and toxic and it didn't matter. I mean, I, you know, I said, well, why don't you connect one of these guys? Because I don't see or know what's really going on with you because I was focused on me. Um, two of the cats that I, you know, they're not mine, but um, had a gaping hole about, a, you know, half a dollar size. I actually just decided to try to do it myself. So I did, it healed up nice and then he showed up again and had another one. I'm like, I don't know, you know, because it's trailers, they can get caught on that metal from run away from the animals. But I'm concerned that either uh, I, I felt like somebody opened up a lot of very angry, trapped, bloodthirsty spirit or souls, whatever you call it, that were of the Cherokee line, because I know that I'm on a, a property that um, there was basically a bloodbath, but Cherokee came in very predominant. And I've been here four years working that, you know, uh, transmuting it, sending love, and I've got an elder tree and uh, the earth um, dragons came in and was helping me do this, you know, to clear it. And man, come Thanksgiving, I, it, it was almost like, I, I and I was fighting things that I couldn't see, but I could feel it. But I also know that it has to do with um, um, enraged people that are not on the same timeline that I am to meet with my divine life partner and them also being enraged because I was that close and now I'm not feeling it anymore. I mean, he was actually sending me um, in the physical, like, okay, physical you, got so, you got so many balls in the air. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You've got too much that you're trying to focus on. And I've got the, I've got, Rick and I have 12 um, ancestors that are around us all the time. And they're telling me, don't worry about the land there or any of the history. Yeah. There, there, I had there, to let there, it there, there, is, there is 
probably land everywhere where there's some kind of massacre or bloodbath that happened. And, and it, not, yes. just, just, not just Native Americans, it could be any, any kind. So he, they're, saying, not. they're saying, let it go, let it go. How about focusing on what's going on right now and your vibration and nothing else? They focus on you and your vibration because that's what's happening now. Yeah, I had the music on yesterday and okay, and had a great time. Okay, good. So, so let's focus on that. That and child, like right part head. of me, came back. Okay, good. Okay, so let the girl that was there go. Let that's her. Her her path is her path. There's nothing that's in your house that's left over from her. She didn't leave anything behind. So you don't have to worry about that. So let's just focus on you and healing you and your path going forward. Yeah, the only the only thing she left behind is fear for you. Yes. You, you create fear from it. Yes, you and did. That, that you're you're creating can, it. Can be an animal. Yeah. Like that's a, only history of what's happened in the last couple of weeks that I don't know if that helps you or maybe it's better that I just not say anything because I, I don't know. Yeah, but you you created and you created your own fear that she she left something behind like energies or something. There is none. There's none other than what you created yourself. So let that go. Yeah. I go with all. I've given you some energy into your heart chakra, by the way. So hopefully, hopefully you'll, you've got, if you lift your vibration, things start disappearing. Yeah. And one thing that Rick and I have learned since we have gone through losing everything and being homeless, stop worrying about money and trust that everything's going to be okay. That's yeah, I, I had to put sticky notes to remind me as I, I'm oh. eliminating, you know, stuff that I just don't need anymore, even though I had a plan of something. It's It's been a ritual just to don't worry about it. Yeah, stop. Because what, the minute you stop worrying and trust that um, you're going to be fine, you're it, 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 miraculously, money is there. <laughs> the minute you start saying, I'm going to be evicted, then you will be evicted. Don't worry about it. It'll all be fine. What's supposed to happen will happen. You, you are not, I wouldn't worry about it at all. The first thing we did was say we were grateful that we had each other. Seriously had everything that we could possibly put together. Our four cats and us in a truck with our, our mattress in the back of the truck and some clothes. That's it. <laughs> we are on the road. I mean, I had a, we had a four bedroom house. We lost everything. We just ended up giving things away. Giving it yeah, away. I've, I've been through that myself. But on the good side, I actually accepted um, going out with a, someone on Thursday and went and seen that new movie, um, Black Adam. I thought it was a great movie. There was a lot of metaphors in it too, but um, yeah, I, I knew I was going to have a choice of two and I thought, yeah, that don't feel right at all. Yeah. So anyway, it just I just know that trust that the, your your guys and your angels are there to give it, give it to them to help, you know, you have to put your guides on notice that they need to help you in this. They can't help you unless you ask them. Yep, that's what I've been doing. And when I pulled my own, it was, um, the first one was you're focusing too much on the problem. And the very second one was problem solved. So I just, you know, you have to laugh. Yeah, but remember what you're putting out there. If you're saying that, you know, eviction, I'm, I'm broke or things like that. If you put it out there, that's what you will be. So just, I, all we did was focus on gratitude. We were thankful. Yeah, thankful. that's where I'm, I'm. There's always something to be thankful for. And that's all we did was focus on gratitude and, and being thankful. And, you know, and what we did was we ended up getting a job at a storage facility because you could you get a free apartment and you get, and you get paid to rent out storage, rent out storage units. That's what we ended up doing for a while. Worked out great. Yeah. So there's things that happen. We did that for, I don't know, four or five years? Four years? Three. No, we did two and a half in Jacksonville. We did a few years, a few years. It was at least five. Isn't yeah. So free rent and, and the salary. Yeah. That's, that's I incredible. knew that I was going to be, I was given um, automatic writing because I've always done that. And um, I knew that I was going to be given the time of when to restart scripting again, which was this morning when I woke up. Yeah. So got all that taken care of but um yeah good. so bill has and i know that it's working because i'm getting overheated and i have to the, the healing is yeah phil's healing usually overheats you want to say stop by the way see what we can't say 
this stuff. See what the cards say. I was gonna do that right before the water, but. You need three. What? I was told to do three. Children support and integrated. Uh, truth and integrated. I can't say it. <laughs> you know when you got that one word that you can't say. Inter yeah. What does it mean, Phil? Because I um, can't. I'm like my. It's too small. Right. The first one, children. Basically, that's you got. Uh, you have fun in your life. You, at the moment, you're in the doldrums. You're thinking. You're worrying. Have a bit of freedom and ignore it all for a little bit and just have a bit of fun. Yeah. The next one, support. Yeah. That means that you've got a bigger pictures. You've got guardians. You've got a lot of people, spirits around you that will support you. So let them. And that truth and integrity. Integrity. That's the word. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that card. I should just take out part of it. Actually. <laughs> That's just uh, basically send your errors to to the angels to sort out. Uh, if you're making the same mistake. Be, be, be willing to release them to the angelics. That'll them solve it for you. Yeah. Thank you. So, a bit more fun, a bit of smile, smile, laughter on you. Yeah. And if you have some fun and it lifts your vibration and then you can deal with your serious problems on a better, a higher vibration. So, yeah. Now you're playing, playing an iPhone. It's funny that you said that because integrity is the, 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 the foundation of what the problem was having integrity yeah musical and expecting it back so it all it all works together it all works together right thank you okay You're how welcome. do you feel anyway um hot like i need to go in the shower and take a cold shower because it's not cooling up can you send the cool off a little bit there phil yeah, you want to send some of the snow <laughs> <laughs> no no we're supposed to get that like later in the month so right. it's been raining nonstop for three weeks. Mm -hmm. Today we're actually got sunshine. All right. All right. Lily? Oh, the next one is Delara Tugsi. She's asking for healing. Hi. Hello. Hi. 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 Nice to see you again. See you. Yeah. Um, actually, I want to read also. Like, I have a reactive rheumatoid arthritis since one and a half years. And it's an autoimmune condition. I don't know if you know it. Yes. But it's caused, yeah, it's caused by the immune system attacking my healthy body. So it's me attacking myself. So what's, what is the autoimmune condition? Uh, rheumatoid arthritis. It's oh, reactive rheum rheumatoid. rheumatoid. Okay, I have it, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, yeah. And I have pain on my ankles, like especially on my knees, hands, fingers, and wrists. And I wonder what are the origins of it. Hey, can I ask you, have you had the lollipop? The, have, you have, you had, have you had any injection? No. Right, okay, so we can take that one out. None. And it happened a year and a half ago. Did you have anything that happened, any shock, any death, it, or anything like that? Um, that, uh, that, like, shocking that uh, when I was a teenager, but it actually it triggered that trauma. I think that I was on South America when the um, the pandemic started, so I was there, and it just like triggered very, yeah. So okay. when I come come to my country, Turkey, then this started. So yeah, wow. it's related. They didn't require you to get the injection. Uh, no, no, okay. I just made the yeah, test. Turkey's pretty good. And I I didn't do. Good, good, very good. But, but you had the test yeah. as well. She, she had tests, yeah. Okay, let's see what we can do. You, should, you might feel a bit of heat, a bit of strange energy coming in. Yes, you may feel energy in, in your body. What I am get, getting is, that's your weak spot. And if you get a lot of stress, you you feed it from the stress because the brain can only hold so much. So the last few years where if you own the pandemic, which me and Deb haven't, then it becomes inside, it becomes like a fear, like a, a negative, a low vibration. And then you're feeding your weak spot, which is our practice. So the good way to stop the pain is to try and ground yourself. Woodlands, streams, 
a walk in, in a woodland, a walk next to a stream, water, that sort of vibrate, or meditation music to ground yourself, grounding meditation. So I'll just try and clear it if I can. Do you feel the need to, to want to heal people? Can you say that kind? Do you feel the need, do you want to be able to heal people to, to make them feel better? Yes, yes, actually yes. Do you actually, know that in the past want, life you were a shaman? No, I didn't know that. Really? Uh, are you Spanish? No, I'm Turkish. You're Turkish, but you lived in South America? Where did you live in South no, America? No, I was there. The Turkey. Yeah, Turkey. But did, where were you in South America? In Peru and Bolivia. Peru, because I saw you in Peru. I love Peru. I'd love to be there. <laughs> you were a shaman in uh, our ancestors that that are around us. One is Incan, and um, you were part of the Incan Incas. You were a shaman. I'm sh they're showing me. That's your nature. You're a healer. You are a healer. You were a healer in many lives. I think also you're a bit of an empath, but you don't have to get grounded. You need to ground it. You can't keep hold of it. You, you would, yes, other people's energy affects you a lot. Yeah, so much. So you have to ground yourself more. So when other people's energy affects you, you go out and put your hand on a tree and release their energy into the tree. So they grounds it into the ground because it's cold out now. But it, you're like some in the summertime, go and put, put your feet in the grass. Or, but in the winter, put your hand on a tree. Um, ask a tree first. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes, but they will. They will always say yes. But ask them. I had one that said no, so not always. <laughs> my my trees all know me. We know each other very well here. They all tell me their name. Even the wind talks to me now. <sighs> I I didn't realize that I you was are... a shaman. Oh yeah. I I realized that I have my angelic energy, but not a shaman. And I, when I was in South America, I was I felt like so disconnected was just like, like so different energy oh and it, it also made it's me calling you home <laughs> <laughs> did you go to um machu picchu uh, no i didn't i go to lake titicaca mm. and what was in my heart also it was in my heart so the, the problem with peru is it's very very spiritual on both sides yes it's on both sides it depends where you dark go, and so, light mm -hmm. yeah. If you had gone to Machu Picchu, you're, you would have probably received huge downloads. Mm. That's really where you were from at one lifetime. Mm. A lot of energy there for you. But you, um, yes, <laughs> you've had many, yeah. many lifetimes as a, as, a, as a spiritual leader, as a healer, as mm. yeah. Yeah, and also like three, four years ago, I... I had an experience and after that I can do some kind of healing that um, and I did to a lot of people but I just like for free and, and now I I want to shift that and do it as a healer title <laughs> and to you can do it you'll you, they'll teach you your guides and and the angelics will teach you they show you how to do this. That's how, that's how we became healers. They show, they show us everything. As you continue, you just continue to expand and grow. They show you everything. They give you messages as you continue to do this. Trust trust all your messages. Can you feel the energy going into you now? I'm, I'm trying to bring in 22nd chakra energy, platinum right. Yeah, I, I feel a lot of energy flowing. So. <laughs> <laughs> trying to bring it into your arthritis and try and clear it. But to step up as a healer, it's just like something is like holding me. Uh, like I don't only know. It's you, only you are doing it. Jesus really? is here. Jesus is here. He says to tell what? you. He says to tell you. The only one holding you back is you. You yeah. have all the power. It's only you saying no. I can't do this. Release that. Release it. You can do this. We're all here to help you anytime you want help just ask we can help you too just contact us oh it's so beautiful to feel that don't be afraid yeah i just like feel so abandoned and alone so 
But what you've got to think when you do healing is everything is possible. Everything. Everything. As soon as you think it's not possible, you block it. And instead of using just earth energy, just use any energy you want to. Just mix and match and test test the water. It's always worth experimenting. Phil, Rick and I will help you any, any way we can. We love to help healers. We love to. Yeah. <laughs> Don't be afraid. It's just, it's such a it's such beautiful energy to, to help others. That's what we're here for. That's what our job is, is to help yeah. humanity. Yeah, actually, I'm craving for this. <laughs> yeah. You can do it. You might feel something going into your head. I've just asked for a download to help you from Source Excel. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you may, be, you may feel really, really warm. <laughs> Big step is grounding yourself every day. Every day when you first get up or before you get out of bed, picture yourself grounding yourself, your feet going into the ground. If, whether yeah, you wrote Did you feel growing. that, by the way? Did you feel anything then? I, I, I felt, yeah, the difference of the energy. Yeah. Yeah. If you, you know, mm-hmm. however you, however you can vis- visibly ground yourself, whether it's root, roots growing out of your feet into the ground, into the center of Gaia, either to crystal, you know, to the crystal center and attaching to the crystal, you know, just ground yourself before you get out of bed. If you can make that a habit, yeah. but I find that the easiest. Yeah, the, yeah, especially Here. when I wake up, I really need it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You want to ground yourself, in, especially I have to because um, I seem to come back and and um, all of a sudden I'm in pain when I wake up. But I'm old. <laughs> I'm really old, so my body's like I need an oil can to get out of bed. Uh, but you're young; you should be okay. Uh, do you feel your wrists and your how do they feel? I uh, now uh, flip. I just like oof, the energy. Yeah, the, yeah. <laughs> it's just. Hmm, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just one thing, another way to help you is to bless your food that you have. Uh, do you have meat or not? I have meat, so um, but I actually take the trauma, send it to source. So what I'm eating then is high vibration. Anything I eat is high vibration, and I do that all the time, yeah. So uh, you, can you, you can put you your hand, do you have meat or not? Do you eat meat? Yeah. Yeah. Right, okay. put your hand over yeah. the meat. Okay. okay. Visualize by remote viewing the animal. Connect. Thank for the meat, a bit like Avatar too. Thank for the meat. Thank for the nourishment. Take the trauma of death off it. Send it to source and then send love to the animal. Then try the meat and it'll be 10 times better. Yeah. We just take the trauma out of it because a lot of the, the, the animals go through trauma when they go through death. Yeah. yeah. You want to take the trauma out and then give them gratitude much like the native americans used to thank them thank the, the animal for their you know thank you brother and i i send gratitude to you um and the natives mm-hmm. always thank the animal for their nourishment and for their for clothing them they, they use every bit of that animal for you know their nourishment and for clothing and for their house their teepees and mm-hmm. so they I, I, i've just been given smells just for you <laughs> right put your hand have a, have a drink of water, say at night. Rub into your hand your fingers and from the universe, bring in the essence, the materials to help your arthritis. So mm-hmm. you've got to visualize it in there, rub it in. Yeah, create, make it into a pill, physically pill. Put the pill and with pure water, drink it. Okay, so you're then you're self-healing your arthritis. Okay. Okay. Everybody can do that. Everyone. Yeah, it's so nice seeing you helping me. It's just, yeah, I just feel like safe, secure. It's so nice. Thank you. <laughs> another another way is to get a load of symbols off Google. Say the flower of life. Put crystals in a, a fashion to help you heal. So green energy is healing. It's also the heart chakra. Put in a circle and then put, say, a quartz crystal in the middle. Put your hand over it at night or just once and just leave it on the table to heal your arthritis, to clear it, to take... The, the crystals take the negativity away, the pain away. Okay? I'm on a roll. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Have I given you... Have I done a card? No. No. 
I'll give you other things. Mm-hmm. Right, just say stop in a minute. Just give it time. Right, you can tell stop whenever you want. Yeah, I'll stop. Hmm. Oh, quite interesting. Emerging an enchantment. So emerging is uh, quite interesting, actually. Emerging, you got you're awesome. You're revealing your true gifts, express them. So it's basically, yeah, start healing. Enchantment is ba- enchantment. I see uh, thinking beings in it. Uh, connect to your inner child. Recapture the magic, the magic of child play and everything. So yeah, the, the cards are saying go go ahead with this uh, healing. You'd be good at it. Yeah, <laughs> Just go for it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Like I uh, see and sense a lot, but like I I don't hear like much. So it just. I, but what, yeah, what it is, what what it is, we we've got a load of strands of DNA, and we only have got most of his ear. Probably got three or four open. The more higher vibration you get, the more you're releasing. So if you cleanse your food, if if you do everything, meditation cleanse your food, drink blessed water, uh, create crystal grids, do everything on that line. You're just lifting your vibration. Other things start coming in, like you start hearing. I, I, I can close my eyes, remote viewing, and it's like seeing a video. And it can be quite amazing sometimes. And that must be nine, that must be opening eight strands or something like that. Because the I am, the more strands you get, the, the more, you know, the more gifts are opening up to you. Right. So I can't yet create a portal and walk through it and go into the Caribbean yet, but eventually I hope to. <laughs> so hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> okay. Really? Thank you so much. You're Thank welcome. You. Thanks a lot. Okay. The next one is Paul. Paul Han Reader. Again, uh, Hi, I Paul. just. Uh, going through like massive transformation and shifts and like literally rewriting myself and letting go of old stories and reframing and all this stuff but at the same time like i talked about the past week um there's something in my left side like vision kind of screwed up and it's almost scary to drive now and i have to drive sometimes to do things and stuff uh it's just like I don't know, it's like too wide open or something and and too much light gets in and I get dazzled or I can't see uh, in shadows and dark and and stuff like that. And then every once in a while I get this, I don't think I'm being attacked. I think something's shifting, but I get this kind of numbness in the middles of my left side, my arms and sometimes in my lips and down the middle of my leg. Can you look at the camera? You've got somebody in your, you've got somebody inside. Look, look at me. Look, 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 look. There you go. Right there. Yeah, this look like someone. You have some. You have uh, somebody living in you. Well, I see flashes of different images sometimes out of my left side. I don't know what's yeah. going on. Uh, yeah, you've you got can... you've got a visitor. Well, I'm ready Fan. to be Fan. free because uh, I can't function right now with what goes, I've got going on. Yeah, he goes by Sam, but his name is Samson Dill Dill Dillingham. Who weird? I don't know that name. He said, "Of course you don't. <laughs> I'm dead." I'm dead. Well, did you know? He said to me, did you know I'm dead? I said, I yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, I do. <laughs> well, thank you for visiting. I appreciate it. <laughs> In habitation. Thank you. Yeah. He goes, dead. I'm, I, I'm dead. <laughs> yeah. Deb talks to dead people. <laughs> yeah. All good. Well, I, I offer him an opportunity to go back to the light because it's not serving me at this moment. So yeah. thank you. Yeah, why, why, why did he do it? Did he just get a free or at right energy wise? I think I've been wide open for a while and it was an opportunity. Hmm. Like literally, he's, he's had a, he, had a, he had a stroke and the left side of his body it was uh, was affected. So that's why your left side I is all screwed up. It's weird. Uh-huh. He, uh huh. But as these ascension well, he's, portals he's very, have opened. He's uh, very, very talkative. I hear you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Sam. I uh, I let you go. I need to have my life back and my body back. Thank you. He said, he said he's not religious. <laughs> Nor Another one that's not religious. Never mind. <laughs> he doesn't want to go to the light then? <laughs> well, he didn't understand what that meant. Okay, well, you can be released to uh, to return to your 
where you belong. I said we we're going to send you to the your perfect place. Beautiful. <laughs> well, the correct light, not the fake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you. Holy crap! I don't know. I was just like driving around, and I feel like I'm going to run into things and hit things and stuff like that. It wasn't fun. It was like being split. I wonder if he's trying to take over part of your brain or something. Makes you wonder. I can so, feel it. It's, yeah. it's hooked in right at the back of my left side here. He's here. Mary. Mother Mary. Mm-hmm. Lots of emotion coming out. <laughs> I don't know. I feel called to share that there's so much ascension energy going on right now that uh, that really we're literally able to rewrite ourselves. So if, uh, if there's anything that's not resonating, I just lay in bed and I'm tired all the time. I'm sure that's Sam partly in there, but uh, just kind of re-picturing and re-imaging all the stuff that I don't feel worked out right in my life or whatever I go back and paint a new picture with it and it's helping it's creating new possibilities for beloved and feeling love and I I learned something that might be useful for people that uh, when we're a child uh, our our nervous system is trained by a lot of times our mother or our father that skin-to-skin contact or that feed, breastfeeding or, or other things and a lot of times when our parents had some trauma that they were dealing with or whatever we get we choose our parents so that we can get that brought into us as an as an infant or whatever and i'm having a spend a lot of time just holding and hugging myself and and feeling a really pure love which is retraining my nervous system which i think leaves me wide open when i'm scared or not feeling safe in the world kind of leaves your field open a little bit to maybe stuff like this happening yeah deb i'm asking michael to bring a loved one to help take him yeah, he's, yeah. he's gone. He's, 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 he's gone. He's left, yeah. Right, that's yeah how do you feel? Hmm? How do you feel? My left side feels a little bit dull right now, but uh, whatever is in there may be moving. I'm, I'm just glad. We have to do healing now and heal the faith that he left. We're going to fill it. We're going to fill it with lots of love and healing now. Thank you. I think that's the most important thing in, in everything. When I, we do this healing work with other people, I just shine my love. I, I know Deb and, and Phil are, are pulling in the spirits and all the right energies and all the right healing, but uh, all we can give into the world in my perspective is love and just shine as much light as we can to oh. help people feel safe. Go ahead. You feel it. Thank you. Mm-hmm. It's going down your arm. Down my back and into my yeah. spine. Yeah. just felt so surreal, like I wasn't me. Yeah. So that's exactly what you described, so thank yeah. you. Yeah. Thank you. It's so funny that you feel their, um, you feel their illness in there. That's exactly what you felt with his stroke. Well, I definitely don't want to experience that in real life. <laughs> that was not fun. You should uh, feel normal now, or at least on your watching level. I gotta go sleep for a little bit, but yeah, agreed. Thank you. He's gone. He's like a soul exhaustion right now. Just yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. He liked your light. Oh yeah. <laughs> Rick used to bring him home all the time. Well, when we don't, I, what I'm finding as I'm kind of reconstructing myself, when we don't really feel empowered through stuff that's happened in our past or whatever, we don't really take our full light and we don't embody it. So it's kind of like we're a, a smorgasbord. I feel sometimes where those entities, maybe like Ryan was talking about, those entities will come in because we're not fully utilizing that part and, and it's just drawn to us not fully feeling empowered yet and I'm I'm stepping more and more every day into full power and having these strange experiences which I called in to help me see myself and and fully embody that full power and bring my light into the world mm-hmm. so thank you for helping me you want to say stop uh stop please thank you you helped him too because he found his way home yeah I think so thank you uh, I, I think sometimes it's a bit scared to go and one, a loved one did come in so to help him to for him beautiful uh, and you gotta now start becoming a child honor your inner child definitely need that yep yeah have more fun guardian angel they're just saying that the guardian angel was behind you oh, i didn't feel attacked or whatever and i know i'm i'm supported and, and yeah. protected but uh just I, I remember there was a point where I got really low a couple Tuesdays ago, and I think that's when he came in because I woke up with this weird headache and stuff going on. And uh, yeah, so thank you, thank you. For that. If you think that wasn't it, that wasn't an attack, I think he uh, was just looking for. He was searching too because he doesn't know what to do. When they cross yeah, over, some people just have no clue. They're they're 
you know. They went out of body and they were confused. Like I, I was walking confused. I was probably him. I couldn't see what this world was and, and all this kind of stuff. So I think if you separate from your body too soon or, or don't go, uh, that's what happens. They wander. Yeah. It could also yeah. be very draining for you. Yes. Very draining. Having Absolutely. Yeah. Body yeah. Inside. You're sucking their, your energy too by doing that. I take my energy back and I love myself and uh, I close my field so that uh, I don't have to keep yeah. having this experience. I take full responsibility for, for my field and myself. You can ask Archangel Michael to protect you that you do not want any lost souls to attach to you. And well, he, I, he can make I, sure that that happens. Because there's, I mean, and that that goes for everybody. If you do not want a lost soul to, to roost on you, then tell Archangel Michael. We've never stopped them. Yeah, if you have got one, ask uh, ask the Archangels to bring a loved one from the spirit world to take it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's the easiest way of doing it. The closest one in it is, who's gone, we'll, we'll sort them out. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, Here we've, we've awesome. just never stopped them because we'll send them home. And, you know, we, we have no problem doing that. As long as they're of the light, we don't ask for any negative ones at all. <laughs> no, we ask for protection from the negative ones. <laughs> we're we're not warriors like Phil. <laughs> Beautiful, thank you. You're welcome. I have no training in warrior work that I know of. <laughs> all right, Lily. Hey, the next one, Lydia. Lydia, hi, darling. Hi. Hi. Hi Deb, hi Phil. Hi. Uh, I would like to scan for myself. Okay. Hmm. You have a virus. You have... Chaotic. <laughs> you do. Yeah. Glaring. She has a virus. <laughs> it's not contagious, is it? <laughs> it's, not... <laughs> it's not COVID. No, I didn't. You can't, you can't just, even say, you just... can't say the word. I can say the word, didn't I? Oh, God. <laughs> it's not that one. <laughs> it's just a regular virus. Run of the mill. Really? Yeah. Are you actually a bad one? No. <laughs> <laughs> this, is more, I, this is more I like... Use, uh, this infection, I didn't use anything. I, I get never COVID. I, I was working with people with COVID all the time with a mask. Well, you have you have something that would give you like it would you give you a fever. You're not blood. you're not allowed to say the c word on all about that. <laughs> you have something that would give you a fever blister or um, like a sty in the eye. Not no. something that would give you. A, that's what I'm talking about. That's what's in your system right now. I okay. said what I'm seeing in your bloodstream is something uh-huh. that would give you a blister on your lip or a sty in your eye. Um, that type type of virus. Yeah. Herpes. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> then it's a papillus virus, herpes. Uh, thank, God, thank God I never had it. I don't need it. <laughs> I, uh, then I had rash uh, two weeks ago because I get uh, a painkiller in uh, injection. And next day I was just full red, some reaction of, I don't know. You did a pain injection? Yeah, painkillers, yeah. But it got worse. It don't work? So, what kind of painkiller? I don't know what was, what was it. Uh, I didn't check it. Oh, so you're allergic to it? Could be. Because no, I, I... No, you yeah. are allergic to it if you got a rash. So you need to know what it was so you don't do it again. Exactly. But I said I, I don't know any more so like stuff like, like this because of my pain, but... Uh, they always, you know, they're pushing you. And last time I just said, no anymore, because it's always the same. Like, but they- Where's your pain, in your back? Uh, now it's just always in my neck. In, the, in your spine? Yeah, spine. That's your back. Yeah. <laughs> I always, back, back is here. Right. Oh. Okay, your spine. <laughs> I, I should say your spine. Yeah, in your spine, okay. but not, not your back no, part of your spine. Not your back back. Okay, your spine. <laughs> part of your spine. If your neck is included in that, by the way. But you can um, say all oh, my spine is neck. somehow damaged, so it's it's really... I think um, 
possibly remember I said something to you a few months ago that yeah. you lift things like a man really happy yeah. things when you're working with the horses yeah. I don't know what you're doing right now but I told you back then that you're lifting things like a man and you're gonna hurt and you're hurting your back and which I meant your spine <laughs> oh. I said something to you yeah yeah I don't I remember but I, I remember saying this to you I am very careful at work at the moment I, I don't lift think a lot of stuff but still sometimes I just need to take something and <laughs> but, you, but you lift really heavy things like a guy and because was, uh, yeah, past past in uh, other past um, my past yes I did I, I lifted very it was stupid that's what did it <laughs> uh, Deb are you allowed to say men and women in America I, I thought we banned that sort of subject now <laughs> It's more than just two, you know. Oh my God! I don't even <laughs> don't even get me started on that. <laughs> Please don't, because I will go off. <laughs> they, them, that, they, they, he, no, he, she, he, they, them, their, though, <laughs> it, are, who. Very American. <laughs> Still, still better than the than the learning German language. Do they do that there too? That they do. <laughs> I still would like to see a man give birth. <laughs> biological, a biological man. Is that a fetish? Prove That's it. a fetish, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Prove it. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna get us banned for saying things like that? No, we don't. Go ahead, ban me. <laughs> I don't think so. I know, so he'll probably just cut that out. <laughs> and can I ask? Can you can you see someone in my in my flat? Because I uh, when I walk vo- walking some, some some days or when I sleep, then I just uh, feel some presence around me. Some like someone is sitting on my bed. Then I wake up or I go to sleep. Yes, we'll get to that. Let me just get this neck and spine. Mm-hmm. Spine. I'm gonna send you to your room. Oh, it really must have hurt. Thank you. 24 hours. Mm. Do you feel any feel anything that, that we're the corrections we're doing and the healing? Tingling. How's your neck? That's, that's a lot, doing a lot of work on your neck. It should feel a lot better. Next time instead of pain to ask them to put the steroid in there. That helps it a lot more than pain shot. Yeah. Yeah, I can I can move now with uh, with uh, without the pain. That's better. Good. Yeah. We'll see you next day. Do they give you those braces for your back to, to help you at work? No, yeah, I, I just get the MRI last last few days, um uh Wednesday and they just uh, uh, they just wrote it's damaging because of the um arthrosis arthrosis uh, between C five, six, and seven, and just they just we will see what the what the um, doctor or the spe- the specialist will say. They just need to look and read, and we will see if I need surgery or something because I don't want surgery again. <laughs> I had on the spine once enough, so we'll yeah. see. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You got two cars, by the way. Phil, can you can you check in my room if something is around me? Oh yeah. Do you know Lillian? No. It's a woman named Lillian. Lillian? Yeah. Woman. Old? Well, she's not old now. <laughs> what she wants? Well, she's visiting you. You have no ancestors. You feel you feel something wrong in the house, don't you? Somebody sitting on her bed. Oh, uh, there's something um, older in the grounds something's happened in the grounds and you can feel that it's starting to come up from the earth can you feel that Deb? somebody's old. somebody old uh-huh. something old before probably the building was built oh Some, really something really dark yeah is there any streams or rivers there or don't you know because sometimes they just dig them on well where she lives is uh, like an apartment building, but it's in it, there's nothing a lot and nothing around it though, from what I saw. Really, it's like it's seeping from underneath. You might have seen oh, it, not before. Hmm? 
just going to cleanse it, clear it. It's strange because the uh, last uh, last few months I had so strange dreams and but not not st- uh, dreams. It's it's uh, it feels like real. Like you have TV with I don't know I, one one hundred um, uh, TV shows and I just jumping every time within a second to something else and it's very bad last uh, last night i was uh, i was jumping i don't know how many times and i just finished in a building uh old building was just falling down and i was j- just sitting on the uh, on a floor and holding my dog and i was just talking to her and i said i wonder what what, what will be happen when we crash down and we die and i just come and uh, answer, answer nothing you will not die. You will just move on to another to, to another show. And I said, fair enough. And it's still ongoing. Every night, something to tell. I was just I waking up. Okay, I need to go work, but I have to. I'm still thinking these other realities. What is going on? Just cleansing the ground. I think it's uh, ancient. Do you want to get rid of the the the, the lost soul? That's, I don't think she's a lost soul. I think she's an angel. Might be trying to help with the clearing. Yeah. She's telling me she's an angelic, so she must be one of your angels, Lillian. Okay. You gotta be an angel, Lillian. <laughs> oh, maybe she, she she was coming because I was asking them for protection. Because I had these bad dreams and they just... I was just sitting there, some observing. I, I knew it's... I was just dreaming, but it was not fear. I didn't have fear. But I just ask it for protection. There's an Alexandra there too, and um, you got you got a whole team. And I am I am hearing ringing bells in my ears, like from very very long from afar. Like church bells? Yes. Church bells? But there's no church near you. No. Because uh, I, I looked up. Remember when I was sending you stuff? When I was sent, I looked up your address in it on the globe on the. Google Earth and it showed me yeah. where you lived and showed your apartment building and there was like nothing around it. No, uh, I have only few. Uh, this is very small door, uh, small village. Yeah. We we have some uh, like church. Uh, it's not church. It's just one small building, but it's not ringing like bells. It's it's right. Mm-hmm. There's no. Yeah, I didn't see a church like that there. No, no. I saw f- I saw fields around you. There were fields. Yeah. Lot of fields, yes. Fields, uh, fields and woods. Yeah. yeah. She has no lost souls. I, I don't see any physical negative entities in there. No, I don't see. No, I, 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 I just think I don't feel anything negative. Just no. It's interesting. It's something. It's sitting on my bed, and just my bed gets. You feel it, you know. It's okay. I said, okay, I will ask because I don't hear anything. It's just this ringing bell. Sometimes. I hear some name or someone is calling my name. Then I wake up and maybe it's this Lillian. Lillian and right. Underneath your building, it's been cleansed, so it's clear. Thank okay. you. Great. You should be okay. And I will see how There's a how protection, I there's a protection uh-huh. on you just in case. But sometimes these dreams can also be messages, so yeah. try, try and remember them. Try and have a pen next to you in bed, write them down. I try to hear them. I, I but. I still, I just can't, I don't know, maybe something is blocking me or I have no idea what it could be. Do you want two cards? Yep, please. Say stop. Stop. Manifestation. Yes. Uh, basically, just manifest peace and happiness on your pathway. Peace and love. And healing. Yeah. Uh, try not to focus on any problems, just let the healing work. Yeah. Strange, I get the same uh, same camps yesterday when I when I when I did my own manifestation okay. and he, healing miracle. Did you really? <laughs> Deb, I have one uh, one more question. Can you just scan so, uh, one person? I can show you on my uh, handy. So, can, can you see? <laughs> Her name is Viera. Deb, go. No, it's not that. Okay. Deb's going to just carry on. She's cut off. 
What's up with her at the moment, Lydia? Is anything up with her at the moment? Yeah, she got something in her neck. Right, okay. She was in the hospital, but they don't know what is it, but it's something that's big, like, I don't know, it's a tumor. Yes, she had the out- lollipop, oh, don't you know? But yes, okay. Put her on again, I'll, I'll do a bigger job. Right, that should be okay. Thank you. <laughs> well, keep us informed. Right. Did you get anything from her? It's got a lot of pain. Lots of pain, I think so. Yeah. Same. The baby yes. That was lost. It was blockages there. It's causing the play pain. Okay. Yeah. Alright, who's next, Lily? Thank you, Phil. Thank you. What's next? Next is Radha. She's asking for um, um, healing for her husband, Arun. Hello. Hello. I am Arun here. <clears throat> I would like to get a scan for myself and a message. Okay. If if he's one there. And healing as well? Yes, please. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm not sure where Devin Rick are going. Hopefully they'll come on in a minute. It looks like they've got a uh, broadband. They got cut off. Yeah. Yeah. Right, just close your eyes. Can you feel that? Uh, not much. I'm getting neck pain and back, back pain, by the way. So that's what I'm taking off you. Probably feel it now. You've got a lot of bad... I can feel a lot of pain in your back, is that correct? Uh, yeah, in the uh, in the bottom, yes. Yeah. So I'm going to try to do more on that. Uh, out of everywhere, your neck, you probably don't notice your neck that as much because the back's really painful. You'll feel like a, an energy going down your spine. Uh, yes. Do you get headaches as well? No. I- no. no. They've still just come out of here. Oh. And have you had the lollipop? Have you had the lollipop? Yes, I did. Do you want anything for your know, eyes good to be removed? Your choice. Yes, definitely. Yeah. And Deb and Rick are here. Hi, Deb. I have um, some hip pain. Yeah. I can't seem to, uh, unable to walk on the left side. It really hurts. Okay. And it started from my back pain. Yeah. So it's basically the back pain, but it's the nerve in your back pain causing the problem with the walking. Yes. I'll do the reversing, and the side effect might will probably help with the back and everything. Yeah, Deb, are you here? Yeah, yeah. I'm here. Yeah, we're just doing a rad rap. I said that right. I'm just reversing the lollipop. So if you want to scan him as well. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure if, it, but my name is Arun. I don't know if that's important. But Arun. Okay. Your name is what? I'm sorry. Uh, Arun, A R U N. Aaron. Okay. That's fine. There's something going on with his spine. That's what we were saying. Lower back. Yeah, that's what I was saying. That's what you're saying. It's um, Def- definitely not a problem. Though. It's almost like there's spikes in it. Yeah. Causing nerve problems. I'm I'm just reversing the lollipop, so it, yeah. it might it might repair this as well. Okay. I'll wait until you're done with that. <laughs> Excuse me. Did you feel that? Yeah. yeah. That's been done, Dad. Should we do some repairing on this spine? I do think it's implants as well. Trackers and stuff like that. There's, um, it looks like t- some of it was repaired, but if you go further down his spine, it's like these little spikes at the lower end and then across his hip. There's like these little spikes. It, it's the weirdest thing. It's, it's, you know those those things if you go into a place, but if you can't back up out of the place, it 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 yeah, ruins your tires. Uh, That's what it looks like along his lower back on both sides, and then along his along his hips. But the they're even, they're even spikier. They're like are they they're spike, in the are they implants? Because that's the message I was getting. Those are implants. That's the message I was getting. I've never seen implants like that. Wow, these are new ones. I know, I know. <laughs> wow. I dug into the person. I'll just get Bob to help us. You have a, a, an ache or a pain in, in one of your legs, one of your feet. Uh, on my yes, the left. left. Yeah. 
left one. Yeah. It's always the left one, isn't it? This is real oh, acid. We've seen a few right ones, but the, 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 the left one. Yeah. Something in his um, left knee, too. How do you feel? You're muted, by the way. They're muted, sir. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm feeling much better right now. Yeah. Good. Good. It was a lot, a lot of different things. So mm -hmm. the evening still gets done for the next few days, but there was a lot. So let's uh, see how that goes. I'm, uh, you had mentioned something about the headache. So I was wondering, I have a lot of issues with rejuvenating thoughts. I just keep on thinking about the same stuff. Does, can that be something? It could be, but, but this, what I've actually done might take that out as well. Might do the other one, yeah. By reversing the lollipop, uh, it does side effects of helping you with stuff like that, yeah. Okay. So it, what it is, it's, give, it's giving you back your blueprint, your structure, if you get what I mean. So, so the side effects it heals as well. Oh. That would do. You, do you want two oracle card, angelic oracle cards or not? Yes, please. Definitely. Okay. Just say stop. And I'll... Okay. Stop. And it's dreams and it's Archangel Michael. But dreams are basically saying you're being sent messages in your dreams. So you can write them down by a pen. And, I, and Michael is showing his presence to you. So you got a guardian angel behind, you know, Archangel behind you to show you. Yeah. Okay. That's good. So he's helping me. Yeah. Have you got anything, Dad? Yes, he looks much better now. Much yeah. better. I'm just feeling much, much better. better. And I think the pain that that I have usually happens once once I get up and I start walking. But yeah. right, you can just feel that everything is just fine. And you know, I, mm. I, like you mentioned, that it, it maybe in two days it's gonna get even. Well, the, the healing energy stays with you for seven days. So you'll only improve. You're only going to continue to improve. Thank you. I I really really appreciate you all taking so much time and trying yeah. to. Thanks very much. Appreciate You're welcome. You. Just uh, make sure you you stay in high vibration. Anything yeah. of joy and love. Definitely. Drink, always help. Drink a lot of water this week. Good point. Be positive and think right things and uh, drink a lot of water. Yeah. And that's yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. The next one, we are going to Susan Mulheran. She's requesting for a scan, healing, and maybe implants that needs to be removed. Hi, Susan. Hi, Susan. Oh, hello. Hi there. I had to take myself off mute. <laughs> um, yeah, it seems like I'd say about the last eight weeks, I had a very stressful work assignment. And so I had a lot of, I think, um, tension in my back, so more um yeah by the neck area um shoulder area but also more like mid and lower back and then just the last week i started feeling just like a twingy um thing in my left knee um you know like a little twingy ache in my left knee and i don't feel it now but i don't know if that was kind of related but i feel just in the last day day or two uh, you know now that i'm done with that assignment you know some of that stress release <laughs> has happened so I'm, I'm starting to feel better but I yeah so but uh, if you can scan me see if there's any implants attachments that need to be removed anything like that do, do you ever put your can you put your hands on your knees and feel anything moving if you gave it energy do you get what I mean by that I'm just checking if you haven't got yeah I don't right now there. so it, it it was kind of like coming and going in the past week I'd say and, and did, did, was it, but was I kind of feel like it might be gone now was you it in know. the exact same spot or did it vary? No, it was kind of in that exact same spot on the side right. of my okay. left, like the outer side of my left knee. And mm -hmm. I did listen to like some cellular regeneration, like healing music overnight last night. And I kind of feel like it's gone, but I'm not sure. So, okay. Because <laughs> it was kind of like coming and going a, like every other day. You have a really large black cockroach on your back. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Any idea where that came from? It's a parasite, so it's a spiritual one. Okay. <laughs> yes, please theology. remove it. <laughs> please. Yeah, it can be. It can be all over the place. Yeah. 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 Please uh, remove it. Yeah, I've kind of felt just yeah, like achiness on my back for the last yeah 
uh, eight weeks basically that have been kind of stressed out with this assignment, but. Yeah, what it is, it, it's feeding on your aura field. Now, if you had an injury, you know, like you fell and you damaged your aura field for say an hour or two, that's when it gets in and that's that's why I was testing if you need a gut parasite, but you, you really need to be either very run down or you need to have a fall, you know, a, a damage sort of thing. But we'll, we'll find out, we'll, get, we'll check it out. Okay. I presume you don't want it. <laughs> yeah, I don't want it. Please remove it. I give you permission. <laughs> and it's not, I, it's I, not I massive, I couldn't massive miss this one. one. I couldn't miss this yeah. one. I'm like, ah. It's less than two foot anyway, so it's not that big. <laughs> okay. Can you tell where the source came from? Like, where it came from? It's his own source, Parasites. Oh, Very hard. okay. It, it's not like an entity as right. such from the demons or the, the dark beings. To parasites so they live within us in 4d and, and they just tap into our energy field so it's seeing your light and it's just feeding up you. so you probably okay. run down when you're you when you run down last two days yeah it, when you get run down when you get uh, you know or injure yourself or you felt drained a lot yeah the last eight weeks have been more stressed and drained than yeah. normal yeah you're just feeding it that's all but now i'm kind of done wanna, with done with that and i can kind of relax on yeah you don't want to keep it and name it no <laughs> no that's okay <laughs> a little baby well, oh big, my God. Big baby well, that would be why your back is bothering you yeah he's a not my favorite marley you really look really noisy my snoring dog he's sawing sawing the logs over here <laughs> oh my did you, um, you didn't get the lollipop, did you? No, I've never been tested, never got the lollipop. No. Good girl. I got a religious exception through work, yeah. And I work for a government agency, too, so. Wow. <laughs> but I, I stuck to my guns, followed my truth, let go of any fears around it, yeah. Good. Excellent. Well, the truth is coming out. Yeah. Yeah, it's interesting how now, like, everything's been dropped at work all restrictions and i but i've been working from home for since COVID, since the uh virus happened started yeah. i should say so i've been pretty isolated too and been totally healthy and so yeah apart from the cover and luckily me and my siblings all agreed for my mom not to get it either so that's great and she's been perfectly healthy too so like half of my family has and half hasn't so it's yeah itchy. but we're all kind of accepting of whatever our own choice has been, so. No more rash. Yeah, no more rash. Your face looks great. Yes, that, I mean, since that probably cleared up around like last fall, so about a year ago, it's kind of the final bits of it have gone. Um, and yeah, I haven't had problems since, so it's been good. I've been healthy. Was that always it? <laughs> no, it was, uh, but I, it was, I heard it was, it. I needed to purge like yeah old belief systems and other things yeah so i'm doing good i just had a yeah dream a couple nights ago of walking into the golden christed light like it was shining through my woods in the side of my house i saw almost like a sunset that's where the sunset sunsets on that side of the house and i have some woods and it seemed like a normal sunset but like the, the trees were see-through in my dream and i like I remember reaching my hand through the see-through, like one of the forms of a see-through tree and going, oh, this is cool, you know? And then later on the dream, it's like the golden Christ of light intensified like tenfold and kind of like what you think of the solar flash that they talk about. And the trees were also more filled with light, more, you know, some, so a little transparent, but mostly just golden light and I had a couple people walking I have a gravel path around the side of my house and I had a couple people walking in front of me that I didn't know who they were but it was almost like I was walking into the light like what you know like the ascension and like with just such love such warmth such you know like no hesitation you know because I had wondered like well what would what would it be like you know and I guess after that visual and feeling the love and feeling the warmth of the Golden Christ light and just walking into that, I was just like, okay, I have no fear now. <laughs> Whatever happens, happens. And um, it was just a b amazing, like awe-inspiring, beautiful. So that's great. Yeah. Oh, Rob, she's gone. Hmm. 
fight between me guardian and me uh, entity that I create. Who eats it? <laughs> oh, enough. that's good. <laughs> I think you need healing there, though. And what, what I'll do is I'll send. Uh, I, I should be mentioned. sending myself more healing too. Yeah. Well, I'll send you. I use my twenty-second chakra, Christ consciousness, platinum, right? And I, I, I never used to bother with Christ that much, but I've started doing it. So it, it, it's the year to do it. So you might feel this energy, platinum, right? Okay. You may feel some energy going from the back of your head down into your down through your fingertips and down your body to your toes. You may feel some warmth and like even maybe tangling. Yeah, I'm feeling it. It's like an energy pulse going through you. Can you feel it? Yes. And I've actually seen it before when I've called in healing for somebody else for their spine from from Archangel Metatron that I'm a fractal of. I've seen that golden light kind of going down a person's spine and clearing out all the like yeah. dark and dark entanglements yeah yeah the yeah. knee the knee problem was a dormant parasite from the cockroach being clear in other words it wasn't wake woke up you, you get yeah, it was just I mean? like a little twinge i'm like what is it, that it, it you know plan it implanted you with it and it was dormant okay. they can live in you for years before they wake up so that's getting removed quite clever really told you you're getting a download tonight expansion yeah i've been having a lot of yeah just vivid dreams this week and and maybe it's because of the full moon too earlier this week but i i also had a dream where i met um this my first gnomes that i met in my dream and i saw sasquatch and they said they're opening my site to see them more um i mean i i channel them i speak their light language but but this is the first time I actually saw them like in my dream and they came and talked to me and said they're gonna be opening my sight and like a an older like elder couple no yeah these a male and female gnomes that were like elders named Edward and Helena but that was pretty amazing too I love this <laughs> it was a, yeah and they were doing this funny kind of dance thing and yeah kind of showing me their humor <laughs> wow moment yeah I, I mean, I've, I've channeled one Sasquatch before, named Sally, Sally the Sasquatch, but yeah. Very earth, 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 earth mother energy, yeah, it was mm. beautiful, yeah. Yeah, I used to, that, this was years ago, I used to get energy from them, they tend to, to me, because I know there's Sasquatch here as well, and the, in the yeah. mountain here, but I used to send them energy and love and energy, I didn't know where they were, but yeah. Yeah, I'm not, I, I kind of, yeah, I think Sally might be in Oregon type area or Pacific Northwest, but yeah. I'm you sure have some that. there. You have some. Yeah, I mean, um, I know etherically. I know my friend Wendy, who lives in the Chicago area, I'm in Minnesota, like she's connected with Sally too and actually has smelled her, like had the smell and her grandson smelled Sally the Sasquatch too, like in their house and in their yard and yeah. Yeah, I don't I don't get spirit smells um, so much. Uh, but, are they um, they're in 4D? Yeah, it's a 4D. What? They're, they're being 4D. Yeah, so you're smelling them, so the the energy is coming through. But I, I am um, channeling a new galactic fire sentient consciousness <laughs> that I was told I'd be channeling a few months like back in July. I was told about this new collective I'd be channeling that I'd be well known for. And then, and they said uh, like around S September, and it was more like right, like uh, on October 1st that I really started channeling, but I felt them in Mount Shasta in September and I spoke their light language. And so that's something new for me is this new collective called the Farrakh, F-A-R-R-O-K, um, that nobody's ever heard of before, but they're like a, they have like their own planet and it's, yeah, it's like a fire sentient conscious and consciousness and they do, like chemical kind of transformation, illumination. It's like sparks of light. There's just a light up my auric field. And yeah, so that's a new thing I'm <laughs> learning about myself on my journey. Yeah, and, d d don't say that name when you've had a drink. <laughs> yes. You might say it so, wrong. <laughs> yeah. And it's very like low toning sound. Like when I s speak their light language, they do this low toning, which is interesting, so. It's strange because when I connect to the crystal source beam, they've got a dampening the frequency down 
to my language. So it's not really what I, they're saying, if you get what I mean, because we can't, our voice can't say it. Yeah, if you get what yeah. I mean. Our voice is yeah, not it's like, of good going yeah, and to I was, that level. Yeah, it's like yeah. a low bass tone. Yeah, like, <laughs> that's, um, yeah, so. Yeah, my, my being said, if you said it exactly, your windows could go out. <laughs> I said, I won't then. Do you want yeah. two cards? So uh, sure. Yep. Oh, yeah. All right, just say stop. Stop. Balance. Serenity. Hey, I can say that word now. I never said that last year. Serenity and balance. Yeah, just that's to... that's kind of what I'm working on right now. Now that, I mean, for, for the rest of the year, I have some time off of work. I can relax. I can do some, like, artwork painting and, yeah, yeah just... Yeah, find my balance again. Find that serenity. Well, so the that, balance that, that relates, is, yeah. The balance is if you need any help, you know, you know, just ask them. Serenity is the peace of mind is within you. So yeah, it sounds going like, within more. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've been it's very that, focused on 3D world stuff, you know, the last couple months. So yeah, so that's definitely where I feel like I'm going is the next few weeks is really, yeah, just having more going within, having more peace in my life. And more yeah. time to focus on, you know, what I want to focus on. So, yeah. Yeah. So thank yeah. you. Much love to all You're three welcome. of you. And uh, mm. this was wonderful. So glad to see you all again. Yeah. Thanks, Susan. Yes. Okay. Lily? The next one is Victoria. Victoria? Victoria. Hi. Hi. Hi, Rick. Hi, Deb. Hi, Sarah. Hi. Everyone. Can you pop this picture? I, we can't see you. Oh gosh, try it again. Um, you froze. You got, a, you got a cycle at broadband mode. Yeah, you froze. You're cold. Probably um, not. No, I'm here. I'm here. Um, I'll show up. Um, I'm still so visual. Let me try turning this on and off and see if that helps. You guys see me? How is she talking if she's on mute? I'm trying to work that one out. <laughs> 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 I, I think things so. Um, uh, that's amazing, Victoria. You've got the power to speak through on the mute. I seen I was on Skype on two separate things that was ringing. Even when I got off, I was still talking. And I are, are you on two over. timelines here? You were. <laughs> yeah. You have a terrible connection. We can't, we're getting every other word, maybe. Oh, I will send you my picture and Bobby's picture. Okay. Victoria, your connection is very terrible. You're broken. Do I send Deb the, your picture, Bobby? And she, or should we send Eileen anyway? We do know it. We, we know Bobby's picture, yeah. so. Okay. <sighs> Have you stopped giving him a walk, regular? Yeah, I wanted to walk, but it would have a lot of salt and the last few months before. I have no idea what she's saying. Yeah. Speaks light um, language, yeah. <laughs> I, I will write it down and you guys see if you can you know. Bobby's got a sore throat and his si he's got a dripping sinus and a sore throat. So his allergies are, are pretty bad this week. So his stomach is upset from his dripping throat. He's hungry too. He's telling me he's hungry. <laughs> She's still here? I'm not here. Okay. I'm not here. I'm can, can you hear me? No, we can't. No, I can't. Okay, well, there was on the internet. Whether it's something good and they didn't want to walk him with motion. But um, after we a couple of days, it's, it's just clear I will walk him. It's the only channel I got. Because he's so sensitive and sick all the time. Are you able to hear me? Yeah, we can. Amazing. Uh, <laughs> I think you've caught up your timeline. I think we got. Can you hear me? That I is hear about you. it. Oh, oh. Um, Bobby's at Ewing. Uh, he does want to, I think he wants more walk. I know, I want to take him uh, the salt, the salt on the pavement. It's toxic and he keeps licking his hand. Oh. So I have to wait a, wait a few days until it rains and then I can walk him. And it rained the last two days and now just I'm here. So I'm going to try to walk him. I know he's not happy. I know he wants, you know, and you know, the last couple of days, he's sick of eating what I've been feeding. Oh. Yeah, she had a really bad, I don't know what's going on with her connection, but it's really bad. Yeah. It's a shame it wasn't as good as yours. 
Oh, they must be working on it in yeah. the neighborhood because they just totally cut us off. That's the first time in a long time. We didn't have any internet for a little should, bit. Should we, should we go to the next one and then yeah, yeah. Victoria when she comes back? Yeah, we did the healing on the dog. Yeah, so that's what. Who's next, Lily? Hey, the next one is Tess. Where is Tess? Oh, well, there's Victoria's Victoria. back. Yep. Sorry, Tess. Oh, sorry. Uh, Victoria? Well, yes. Okay, so we did healing on the dog, on, on uh, Bobby. You're frozen again. We're doing healing on you then. He will be happy. He will get to go out later. Yes. I swear I wanted to walk him, but I just can't. And I had relatives that came for a couple of weeks, literally from out of town, and got us busy for a while. And the snow hit, so he's not too thrilled. And he's just healing from nature and all. Yeah. And you know, he hasn't been eating. I fed him a little something he actually ate it today. Um, yesterday he didn't really want to eat whatever I had for him. So that's why he's hungry. He's being picky, not feeling yeah. well. Yeah. Well, he had the drippies in the, in the throat and he had a sore throat and it, and it upsets his stomach when he gets the sinus dripping. So mm -hmm. they did some healing on that. Well, boom. Okay. All right. Uh, test. Hello. Yeah, hi. Can you hi. hear me? Yes. Great. Okay, thanks. Yeah, I came, um, yeah, thank you very much. Um, yeah, I've, I've come a couple of times, but the first time my microphone didn't work. So, um, so yeah, I, I couldn't type quick enough and <laughs> it just got, got a bit nervous, um, which I am now. Um, so I'm not really well, don't be nervous. It. Okay. Thank Nothing you. to be nervous about. <laughs> well, I don't, well, I just, yeah. Um, but yeah, thank you very much. Um, I don't really know what I want or need. Um, I'm in a bit of a mess uh, in terms of um, just trying to work through a lot of past trauma, um, doing breath work mainly. Um, but I've isolated myself. Um, I've gone to a house sort of really in the middle of nowhere and I've I really, you know, cut myself off from so much because I, I get so affected and triggered by things. Um, I'm very conscious of the bigger picture in the wider world. Um, I've become more and more aware of what's going on and that's really, really affected me quite deeply. Um, so I almost feel like I'm going to cry then, but um, mainly because I've been carrying it on my own without being able to really talk to many people about yeah, it. Yeah, not, um, not many see it either. It's exactly, exactly, it is. But I, I mean, hopefully increasingly, but I sometimes I just despair um you know it, it, the kind of just yeah i don't know what it is but um i haven't had any of the, the anything <laughs> just so you know um you Wait, know in you time because you're asking you're awake <laughs> sorry yeah that's because you're awake you're awake yeah yeah, yeah. well yeah. Yeah. I, when, I think, when you're awake you know better you know you, you, yeah you i know. think i think yeah sorry i i didn't mean to speak over you um Sorry, I just need to breathe occasionally, so I will just pause. But um, because otherwise you'll just get a bombardment of blah, blah blah. Um, but anyway, I I think I had quite a an intuitive, um, but not really able to understand what it was since a young age. And I think I mean my parents sort of lived and died not really being aware of anything outside the kind of matrix, if you like. Um. And I, I don't know, it just feels... Um... Well, what, it, what it is, you're a starseed and you don't like living on Earth. Most starseeds oh, don't. I'm really, ha I'm really having a hard time. But the thing is, what's yeah. happening now, what's happening now is really scaring me. And this is the reason I came on today. And I feel, I feel kind of, but I'm, I'm really, I've got some physical symptoms, which I can share if you like, if they're important or not. Okay. But, oh, yeah. but yeah. that's not really my biggest problem. My biggest problem is, um, I just feel really angry and I just feel very um, trapped and I just feel stuck and I feel frustrated and I feel very, very, I, I, I literally wake up every day with a, like bashing myself all the time with a stick and now it's coming out, you know, it's it's sort of coming out, <laughs> um, but but not in a good way, I don't think. Um, yeah, and, and it's just this constant exhaustion because I think I'm constantly in my head um, I feel quite disconnected from my heart. Yeah, I know I have, I think, quite a big one, but I just feel um, disconnected because I think I was also caught up in this. I don't like, I don't know what to word, word to use. Matrix, is that okay <laughs> to use? Uh, yeah, fancy matrix. 
Yeah, pardon? Phantom Matrix, they call it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. perhaps that's more accurate. Um, and I just feel I'm either an incoherent energy, but I'm also quite scared I've got like a bad energy or I've got an attachment or I've got, or I'm being attacked or my trauma has made me just, I don't know, I, I, I don't know. I mean, I feel like I'm going to burst into tears because I don't often speak about it apart from to a friend of mine who gets it, but she's helping me with breath work. I have to do it with her because I'm so scared of feeling my feelings. I mean, I feel all the time, don't get me, I mean, I really feel a lot, but I, I don't, I'm constantly trying to push it all away and not feel it. Can like, I tell you one thing? You're an empath and you feel everybody else's energy. I know, yeah, I know. Um, so but I so feel sometimes, like, sometimes you need to release it because it's not yours. And you take right it now, your Right job. now, you've got everybody else's still stuck on you. So what, what happens is when, before you went to this place where you're by yourself, to get away from everybody else's, you needed to release everybody else's and you haven't done that. So all these years you've been building up and carrying all these boxes and they've been piling up and piling up and piling up and piling up. And now you're at a point where you're ready to explode. Yeah, I, I am exploding and, and it's not it's it's not good oh, at all. Yeah, but it's not yours. So we need to release them. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to get rid of all this weight. That's not yours. Mm -hmm. And then tell you, tell you how to get rid of it after. Yeah. Thank you. I don't feel I'm e even able to do that, but um, yeah, yeah, I'm just, by, yes, by saying are. that, you're stopping yeah. yourself doing you're, it. You're, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yes, you are. Yeah, we all yeah. are. You have okay. to. Uh, and why do you want to carry it when it's not yours? It doesn't belong to you. But I think a part of my struggle is feeling alone and feeling like I don't really want to be with people, but I feel like... Can I tell you something? You're never alone. You have like 28 <laughs> angels and guides with you at all times. doesn't matter where you go. You can run and hide. You can sit in the toilet, but they're still going to be with you. Well, I have or we all have? You have. You personally. Have they not run away? Because I thought I was just... They don't run away. Why would they run away? They're assigned to you. Mm. And sometimes I just feel like... Sometimes yeah, they so switch out depending on what's going on in your life. You know, they have, you have special project guide too that come and go. <laughs> Would that be why I'm so I frus frustrated? Because I, I'm i not fulfilling that? No, you're frustrated because you, you're choosing to be frustrated. And you're, you're also frustrated because you've got everyone else. We do it to ourselves. <laughs> yeah. You've got everyone else's echo, headaches on you. You took it well, away. Okay, I have to turn off the other thing because it's just getting bits of you. Um, okay. Yeah. J just close your eyes and relax. We'll, we'll try and get, well, we will get rid of uh, your it's, it. it acts as Take stress. a deep breath in through your nose and, and then out through your mouth. Do that three times. And as you're doing that, I want you to just think of all of the other people that have given you their shit, their crap on your shoulders. You know, you're your friends and your relatives and the ones that have given you their problem. Then you I don't and think, they think I, yeah, I keep oh talking yeah, over oh you. Yeah. Oh yeah, they have, <laughs> you've taken it on. I think I've absorbed it like a sponge, but I don't feel people come to me. I feel like, you know, I, I feel like I'm going to people, but I'm going to the wrong people because they don't. Um, That's they called don't. an empath. You sponge everyone else's negativity. You help them, you heal them, but you don't yes. get rid of it. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll just close your eyes and let's get, get it because I just got rid of the load. Yeah. Okay. Do you have brothers and sisters? I have two sisters that um, we don't talk. They're all is they're estranged, and I I only talk to one who lives overseas. I've not seen her since two thousand and five. She we just lost my niece quite recently. She had bulimia, and then she basically died of a heart attack. I think she got so skinny, her heart muscles just. Yeah, it's just been horrendous. Sorry, that's also something I haven't really processed, but I didn't, yeah, anyway. We don't die, remember that, we don't die. We live forever. Yeah. We are infinite beings. I've got so much to learn and I, I do try to, well, I, I think I just, I feel like I'm not able do, to trust myself and- do, do you want to close your eyes and relax and let's get rid of it? I'll try, it's really hard for me to- Okay. Breathe and relax. Do well. the breathe. Do the breathing. And, and as you're breathing out, release things. Release it. It's not yours. Your niece dying is not yours. That's not yours. Oops. 
I, 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 I just find I, I'm really trying to relax, but it, it's that that is part of the problem. It's a constant hyper vigilance, I think, and it's it's like I, you know, that's why I'm almost always looking at the wider world because it's like as long as I can see it and see what's happening, then I don't know. It's all a bit of a mess. Sorry. Maybe. Are you trying? Are you trying to control everything? Uh, I know I can't, so I don't think I am, but it may be I am. Well, what, then, yeah, you are. You're trying to control it, but then saying, uh, but I, but you sit back and say, but I'm a victim. Let me control this. But no, I'm a victim. Nobody's a victim. Right. None of us, none of us are. Mm. But none of us can control everything either. So understand that we are very powerful. We are very powerful. We did come here without a tool chest either. We have a lot of tools in our tool chest yeah. but our father our creator is not going to allow you to unlock them until you're ready until you are ready all of us are ready to use those tools yeah what, what can i do more because i i i feel like i've i mean maybe i'm i mean even now i'm i've just moved here and i'm i'm like i've got to sell everything rehome my animals and i've got to leave and i'm not I don't know where I'm going to go, but I feel so afraid all the time, you know, like I, but I'm more afraid of myself. Yes. You're, you're why? Living, why would you be well, afraid? Yeah, why? Because I, I, I sorry, you know, I, this is really hard. Don't let it out. It's okay. We're all friends here. I cried earlier today and it was really hard, but um, I just don't even want to cry. I, um, I don't know. I'm just so afraid because I think, I also am quite stuck in my mind and my ego and I'm like, it hasn't worked, like life, <laughs> this is quite big to me, but it's like life hasn't worked and Why I don't know how to you, fix it. You say it hasn't worked because you're programming yourself if it hasn't worked. You're already saying that you want to leave the house, remove. Why? Well, I, I just don't, I know that it's an inside thing that I'm not sort of happy, but uh, yeah, I'm constantly giving myself these messages. You're right, but it just doesn't. I don't seem to have a control over it. But then I, I probably do. Um, you know. Um, I I had a, a problem some years ago. I just went into four days of meditation, and afterwards I was fine. I was fine. Four days. Four days meditation. For four days. Yeah, I meditated all my spare time and a lot of my work time as well. I don't think I did any work. I had to clear it. Mm. and that meditation seems to get me on an higher vibration. What you need to do is lift your vibration. The only way you can lift your vibration is that any, not hate anyone, not dislike anyone, try and forgive all the people that have wronged you, let them go with love, forgive yourself for holding onto it, and start anew today. Start anew today. Where you live there, look at the good side of it. Don't look at the dark side of it, the bad side of it. We're all having problems, life has got problems. And we could manipulate the world, but we're not allowed to because the earth is like a, a lesson, a testing ground. And you're yeah. having a lot of tests at the moment and you've got yeah. to survive these tests the best way. And you've got to find your tools to cope with it and sort it. So every time you have a, a negative, I will move this, ask yourself why, why should I? Take your power back within, take your own but power I, back. I don't. I don't really want to be here and I'm you know I've got a lot of regrets where I was where I thought I would, yeah I'm so I mean really I'm I know I'm bringing a lot of it on myself but is there nothing wrong <laughs> like you know there's not an attachment or a you know is it is it I'm sort of is it what I've really said what we've well we've discussed now we, we, um, we've only removed a lot of stress you are already different from when we first talked but you've got a lot of layers and that's the problem yeah. that these layers are trying to control you yeah uh, but there's nothing outside influencing me as such it's me creating this um, I haven't I have checked yet I haven't checked I've just got rid of okay. I want to get rid of your stress first we'll, we'll do that now okay yeah we'll, well see thank if you it's anything. Okay. It, could, it could be anything that's manipulating things do mini what happens is sometimes you do get beings that manipulate you to lower your vibration so if he is any around you, yeah, we'll clear him. It's not a problem. Did yeah. I hear you say? Did I hear you say? Don't hate. Or did, did I hear you say that? Don't dislike anyone or anything. 
but I'm really finding that I am at the moment. Like I yeah, find but you're you're by doing that, you're going to their low vibration. Yeah, you've got to yeah. love everything. If you can't handle someone, love them and let them go with love. Yeah, bye. Yeah, but once you start doing the eight word, the anger, you're lowering your vibration, and sometimes you're lowering your vibration to the person that you don't like. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Yeah, be above all that. All right, just close your eyes and if you can. <laughs> feel like there's something that that takes over sometimes. It is an energy it? around her. It is a, 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 a low vibration energy feed up. Do you feel like something takes over you sometimes? Yeah. And I, yeah, yeah, I feel I feel there's something very not me and I feel um and it's been particularly in this house, but I think it has been there. It, it, no, um, it's, 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 con it's, it's it's connected to you, not the house. It's not the house. Right. It's connected to you, but I don't feel like it's in her right now, Phil. I think it's it's around. I'm but fighting it, it. I'm fighting it. Don't worry. I'm yeah. Worried to see. Okay. It's like a shape shift. Wow. Yeah. It did a good job of leaving her when we. It it's not inside you right now, but it was. Oh, sorry to be upset. It's just really really hard to even speak. Okay. It's okay not in you right now it's outside of you I'm playing with it <laughs> does that mirror behind you face another mirror it faces a window there's a lot of mirrors in this house do any of them face each other tape face another mirror yeah there's i can show you the other side oh, yeah you've got you've got oh my god you've got stuff coming in there a lot you've got a mirror oh. that faces a mirror right there look at it look at it you've got portals open everywhere Oh my no, God. never have mirrors facing those. Yes, there is. The the entity, uh, which is shapeshifters, now gone. We we destroyed it. So you got oh. if you've got mirrors facing each other, facing mirror to mirror across the room, whether they're across the room or if they're close or even across the room, you're opening up portals that way. You've got to right. get. Them. Yeah. Please take them down because you you're that's how you're opening or, portals or cover them. Pardon. If you, look, if you look inside your 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 if you look inside you'll see the mirror behind it and you're it'll be mirror to mirror to mirror to mirror. It's opening a portal, an unending portal. So right. anything can come in there. Mm. And mostly mostly it's not good. Yeah. Okay. That thing around you is like a gin. Huh? We had it in our house and I saw lots of stuff coming through there. Okay. I do what? I do feel that there's a, there's a just to say um a little bit lighter but um it could just be just because of even it's, well no, I mean that's because just, he took care of the the demonic energy that was um yeah it felt very demonic yeah, and it was, that's it, it, why was I, it was shape-shifting into all sorts of things it was a battle actually it was about yeah. five was onto it well thank you for all sorry about that yeah. but thank you no very no much. it's it's the job I've done since a child yeah, thank you. I quite enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's why I came on today because it's getting to a critical point. I mean, it's getting to a point where I'm in despair. It, it's, not, it's not. It's not many it can deal with that sort of thing. That's the problem. Yeah. Yeah. I've done it since I was about eight, so it's normal to me. <sighs> uh, what we I... could do is we could try and close all the portals in the mirrors, but the problem is they're all facing. Yeah. But I'm you a can't bit take it. If you mm -hmm. can't take if you can't take it down cover it cover it right i can take it down it's just um as long as they're not facing each other it's just sometimes i like the, the way it reflect you know the light it's quite a not a dark house but it's just i kind of like the reflection and of see the, the the windows also reflect as the mirror do at certain times during the day so you have to be careful okay but they're not, not a lot, they're not as bad as a, it depends what type of mirror isn't it but it's not as bad as two mirrors facing yeah but yeah. um yeah mirrors mirror to mirror is really it, it, you can't have mirror to mirror yeah. that it, it's a it's a really bad portal okay <laughs> from me who's at it <laughs> right. you can have, you can have yeah. good things coming through but it tends to be dark so. <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah it's like having a freeway for the it the is it is like having a freeway <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's I, an I don't open have door. This this sort of knowledge so you know i'm trying to learn as much as i can but um yeah you know i, I knew there was something not go going on that isn't right and i don't know how to fix it so but um, think about it like this you've got portals being created 
you've got fear energy that attracts yeah. demonic. So yeah. you've got a portal. So no wonder you're getting attacked. Yeah. It's obvious yeah. you'll get it's attacked. Fear, because... fear yeah. feeds them. Fear. They love fear. Yeah, I'm that's conscious of their food. That's their food. Yeah, yeah. I can feel that, and I'm. I don't know how to overcome. You know, like I am in fear a lot of the time, but I'm constantly searching how to kind of. If get you out actually said and love. It's painful. Yeah. For them. It's, it's really? ironic, really. Yeah, it's painful. For them. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Love energy is the worst. If you put, on, if you put on music with love in it, they run away. They yeah. run away. Okay. Yeah. Anything to is do there with a, love. Is, is there a, is there any way you can tell if I'm disconnected from my own heart space? You know, like I I am a lot in my head. It's part of the problem, I think. But. Um, um, if you're in your heart, you're in the best place. In your head is ego. Yeah, sure. So staying yeah. in your heart space, and you're not disconnected from your heart. You're never okay. disconnected. That's only your ego telling you that. So get out of here and get into here. If you if you focus on your heart, that's where your tool chests are too, and that's where your yeah. soul is. There's a, a prayer on my YouTube uh, uh, by uh, Paula. And you listen to that, and that clears everything. It is a beautiful okay. yeah, prayer. It's, yeah, it's a beautiful yeah. one. It's on both our YouTubes, isn't it? I don't know. Who's, I, who's, I'm advertising who's, mine. <laughs> <laughs> is it easy to find it by Paula, did you say? It, uh, just put Philip Barrow Raphael, or put okay. Deb, the ELT, each love, I don't know. Is that your YouTube? Yeah, I, it's on, I think it's on both. She and, it on both of ours. It's, it's got like I, a flower at the beginning. It's a prayer. Or a mantra, kind of a mantra of prayer. Yeah, it's beautifully said, and it clears everything. But we we okay. got to clear your room, and we got to close the portals. Yeah, yeah. And, and I and will. It, hmm? no, sorry, and and well, I, um, and I, I, and should I not leave here? I mean, I'm desperate to leave here because I'm. I'm half an hour from anywhere, reliant on a car I can't afford to keep on the road at the moment. Financially, I've gone into it quite a lot of debt because I had a new boiler and a veterinary bill of £1,500. Um, I, I, I just, at the moment, I, I, I don't even feel employable. So I'm sort of looking, trying to get on my feet to get self-employed, but I don't know what to do. It's like a constant, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Um, the stress is just building. But, you know, I, I sort of, I, I'm in fight, flight, freeze, I think, all the time. That's it. That's the problem. Um, and, uh, you know, it's very hard to sort of stay put. Um, I just have all this fear of where, you know. But all this just... fear is just attracting dark stuff around you. Yeah. yeah. You've just got to get rid of that somehow. Meditation, eye vibration, blessing your meals, walking the country, walking the river, ground right. yourself. And asking your guides. Thinking you have guides everybody has guides and angels and your guides put them to work you know they can't help you unless you ask them because it's just free will so i yeah. you know ask them to find your joy when they find your joy which means finding where you're supposed to be let them know where am i supposed to be what am i supposed to be doing find my joy find my joy where they can see the future you can't right put it in their laps tell them get off your butt <laughs> yeah that's yeah, what I, I did. Feel- That's what I did. I was I was sitting here retired and not with nothing to do. I hear I'm supposed to be helping humanity and I'm, you know, I'm in my 60s and I'm like, well, okay, I didn't realize that you had to ask them. And I said, well, <laughs> you know, can you find my joy? I mean, or take me home. Yeah. What am I doing? I'm not I'm I'm wasting my time here. I'm wasting my life away. That was yeah, my place. Yes. That's what I feel like as well. I mean, I feel like that now. It, I feel it's part of the frustration and the anger because it's like, I feel like yeah. pulled back from past trauma and I'm trying to heal that so that I can open up to what I'm supposed to do. But I just feel like I'm not Put going to the work. Right. Pardon? Put them to work. Yeah, I need a bit more trust, I think. Um, perhaps and I they know. will, they will. They'll find your joy, they will. Yeah. And the, the, the place you're supposed to be. If you're supposed to move, then you will move. It'll come. Right. It'll come. And the star seed is that is that definite? I mean, you know, or, or I mean, because I don't people know that, what that people was. that are awake now are star seed. I see. Okay. All right. Yeah, house is cleansed. You should feel that. Uh, all the mirrors have got a, a Raphael stamp on them. So. Okay. 
The portals are closed, but I wouldn't leave it because it can eventually break through these uh, like yeah, seals. I would definitely um, move the mirror. We've got, we've got mirror seals, so we, we can't create a portal at the moment. Eventually, we'll. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you ever so much. Thank You're you. Welcome. Uh, do you want two cards? Um, I guess. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. See. <laughs> Say stop. Stop. So. Uh, these are perfect for you actually healing that basically means stop focus on the problems let the healing accept be accepted by yourself and harmony it's basically the angels are, are saying let go of your troubles bring harmony to your to your body to your physical yeah great right. thank you both well thank you all so much thank you you're welcome thanks. you're welcome Space. okay thanks yeah i'm just you giving the dog I'll All right. Minute. Okay. Victoria, are you back? Yes, I am. Do you hear me? Yes. I, Much I better. Struggle. I Much struggle better. to come back. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so we did um, healing on Bobby and um, and his sinuses, his allergies, his stomach, his throat, and uh, so he's all set. So you heard us on that. So do we need to do scanning on you as well? Uh, it'll be it'll be good to get a scan. Um, it, you know how the weather was like this last while and it was the salt all over and he licks his paws so and he's also having some sinus like problems and so i i didn't want to take him out in that kind of weather and i had to yeah. wait until it rains and it took a while before it, you know we had a couple of days of some rain and it washed out some of the salt so i can walk him today yeah yeah i know he hasn't been wanting to eat and it's worrisome, you know. And I, I fed him again just afterwards when he said he was hungry because I fed him before. Fed him again. I mean, he, he doesn't get cheap stuff, I tell you. He gets the good stuff. Whatever he wants, I, I, I'm willing to pay for it, okay? Whatever he wants. And he, he eats a lot of, like, he refused, um, you know, dog food. So he's eating human food now. And he has all that luxury. And, um, you know, he gets roasted duck everything else you can imagine pretty much what we eat he eats and he has his own shopping list my dad and i will, will deliberately buy food for him you know because that's what he wants but he actually fell outside which i didn't know um my dad had a multi p and he collapsed my dad said he collapsed so i don't know if it was under attack or he just went into one of those seizure you know mode sometimes he does that you know he, he gets into this you know he throws his body down it's like when he gets attacked before when with a choke, he does he does that. But he's not always doing that um, just because he's choked. Sometimes he does it when there's no choke on him. Like yeah, like he, I, I didn't see anything. I don't see the yeah. choke. I don't see nothing. I just saw the sinuses and that he was, had a sore throat from the dripping. So we yeah, did healing I, on that. But I, yeah. I didn't see any attack. I don't okay, see good. anything from that. Because he has a, a few days ago, he was like barking his head off and I'm, I'm only assuming something came by, whether they did anything or not. And I don't know. No, I don't see there, anything. Did, I, did he slip on ice or anything? Well, there was ice. There was ice on the grass. And that could have been why he, you know, I wasn't there, but my dad yeah. didn't tell me until quite a few hours after. Mm. And, you know. Because I don't see, I don't see anything trauma from like an attack or anything. Good, good, good. Do, do you see um, anything in the house, like like portals or anything that needs attention? No, I just see the your mom's portal. Yeah, I only see your father and your mom's portal. <laughs> no. She's, I had a dream about her a few days ago and she came by. Um, actually, really interesting because the soul family groups are, you know, coming together in dream and other, another area. So she, she had a visitation and yeah other people as well like the exes and stuff like that some people you haven't seen for like 20 30 years you know what i mean yeah so that's um, normal that's yeah. normal that it's happening and these energies are bringing old the um the, old, the elders and everything yeah and um yeah um are there any are there any message for me from i don't have any I've slow, slow, come forward. slow messages like i'm slowly bringing my vibration up because he matches mine so my twin so we're working on it we're doing better now good yeah that's all i got was good 
takes, takes a little Very while. Good. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I was told ask cards. What? The cards will tell you. Okay. Uh, now. You, now? No. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I like the. Uh, I use that symbol sometimes. It's, I didn't never see that before. Support. All that basically means is you're just part of all the team around you. Remember to use them when you need to. Playfulness, mm -hmm. you need a bit of fun. So when you give uh, Bobby the walk, have fun with him. Yeah. yeah. I always do when I go yeah, out with for, him. For, it's it's yeah, more for, positive. For, for, for mm -hmm. Oh, you, 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 oh, you mentioned that, you know, I was in multiple timeline or something earlier. Yeah. Wait, did you have two? You had two, two links on here. Did you use your phone and your computer, or was it I, the same? I, I, I couldn't get in from the laptop, so I went into the mobile, and then for some reason, both they both worked. Right. Okay. I, I don't know if that's normal or not, but you know, mm -hmm. is that normal? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Well, that one is normal, but um, yeah, you mentioned something about being in multiple timeline, and I was thinking, I was, I was actually not all here. That was in the five D. We, we we noticed. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. It, I can't help it. It just does. It, it does oh, no. its, its own it's thing. Remember, yeah. you, you can control it. Yeah, I I I was in three I was in three timelines before, uh, multi, like different ones. It was so weird. It was the one time I had another reality and then another reality and this reality all come in all together. And when I was speaking in this reality to someone. The other, uh, the other realities were hearing the exact conversation, and what made, what made it worse was I was talking to the other one, and these two are both my husbands in those other realities. Okay, so they're different realities that I'm in, and so this husband is hearing my conversation with that other husband on another timeline, and it was so, oh my gosh, it was. You understand what I'm saying? It was so awkward. Yeah, it sounds like Doctor Strange, that one, the new one. <laughs> <laughs> I actually was actually, that's when I realized that um, when I speak here, I can broadcast to other timelines. All of it, uh, all of it simultaneously to whatever frequency that I can uh, reach. I actually fell out of the matrix and I, these beings were asking me, how did I come out of the matrix? <laughs> <laughs> in my head, direct in my head. It was very, very surreal. I lost six hours doing that. All right, you two. Six we hours. have more people. Let's go. Okay. Thank, you. Thank you, Victoria. Thank, Thank you, you so Thanks, much. Sam. Love you. All right. Who's next, Lily? Okay, the next one is Jillian. Is this your birthday? Is this your birthday? Uh, uh, it's my birthday week. It was December oh, it's your 5th. Birthday week. I'd have brought yeah. some sand and eggs. I mean, some flour and eggs. Oh, you, you're so fancy. <laughs> Yeah, I got a new hat. <laughs> got a new hat for my birthday. Um, but yeah, I had a good week. I tried that thing where you just allow, you like sit there and allow the universe to do stuff because usually I plan things and um, people came through. Three of my friends made me cakes without me asking to do it, um, which was really, really awesome. And I was just wondering um, if I could get a blessing, a birthday blessing from Heal Teach Love and then maybe like a spiritual birthday spanking from like an elemental or creator or whoever wants to come through. You want a spanking? <laughs> yeah. That's, That's Phil's one. You, you get that from Phil. <laughs> That's Phil's side. I've never been asked for that. Is this, is this special services? <laughs> well, I mean, creator, like, you know, archangels, anybody, anybody who comes through that wants to give a spiritual spanking or party, you know. Because Archangel, every, every Archangel always, Michael's like, no. <laughs> nope. He doesn't want to get involved in all that. Nope. Jesus is like, no. Nope. <laughs> They're all like, you're funny. Reminds <laughs> me of the old church getting rid of your sins. <laughs> no. <laughs> They're not ca They're not Catholic. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I figure everybody mm, always comes to them with their problems, so... <laughs> Your problem is you need, you want some spanking. I'm just seeing which aspect to do that. Imagine if that, if I arranged it, you could take it <laughs> I said that. They didn't say that about the Catholic. I said it, so... Yeah, if anybody's no, offended no. by that, come after me. <laughs> mm. I went to Catholic school, so I could say 
from experience. I did too. <laughs> I was actually saying my Lord on our place. My condolences. Yeah, I'm a recovering Catholic. My name is Jeb, and I'm 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 a recovering Catholic. Uh, <laughs> and um, Deb, what did you do with the uh, where the the cowboy that came through your portal? Where where did he go? He disappeared. They only show for what ten seconds. <laughs> do we want to? <laughs> Julian has uh, created two, two mirrors so he can go to us. I saw some guy. <laughs> some no, guy. Good. I saw some guy that looked like a gangster come out of there, and um, you know, like a like a mafia guy with like like from the 1920s, 30s, with the hat and the dark suit and everything. He came running out of the the bathroom where the, all the mirrors are. <laughs> came sliding into the kitchen. And I went, whoa. <laughs> I went like that, and he did. The, he did the same thing. He went, "Whoa, looking at me!" And then, like, disappeared, like little dust. Yeah, but this is a tangent at times. This is a different angle. Last week's funeral, the person that died, the last song was "Dancing with His Deceased Wife" right in front of me, and I was thinking, "Wow!" <laughs> I couldn't believe it. no one else could see it. And he, he ended up saying a name to me I haven't heard since I was five, when me granddad used to call me. And uh, he was amazed that I could actually see that. So uh, it's amazing. Amazing had, to see him that dance had, the last dance. We had smoke in our living room the other day. We kept I recognized all the smoke. And, and then I said, oh, it smells like cigarette. Who's smoking? And then it, it, it showed up again. And Rick said it started materializing into a figure, a person. And he didn't recognize the person. So I don't know. We still don't know who it is. It just was here. It's gone now. Don't know who they are. It didn't feel not smoky like Joe. But... Don't know who they are. I don't know. They, they're they're not around now. I yeah. don't, don't know who it was. I don't think it was. It wasn't negative. No, it wasn't. I didn't feel negative. But they were they were in between us. Whoever it was. Yeah, all the portals. <laughs> I put the word out. All portals are closed till further notice. Here, we're good. No more. We're good. Yeah, I don't. I don't feel a portal there. Now, does that symbol work? Where you go like up and down and then. Like in the corner, if you have some. I don't work, know. Or... Someone told me to do that, but I I just put paper over the mirror that was facing it. Like you know, I I do that when I'm doing healing sometimes. I do that. When I didn't know anyone else did. I don't know. I was giving the symbol of Raphael to to close to to like put a no no entry sign on the mirrors. But your your ear needs fixing to it. Yeah, I just like it's my birthday and I'm sick of giving like all this pain, the spotlight, and it's my birthday. But yeah, just send it extra. Like it's still healing on the left side. Um, just you know, just hit it. I'm not one for like pain pills or anything, but just hit it with a spiritual pain pill and a taser or something. So you want to get rid of the pain from your ear, but you want a spanking. That's a very strange. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> birthday spanking from whoever comes through. She wants the cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> I was just wondering where where the cowboy went. I know you said it came through, but yeah, I don't know. He just he just kind of disappears. They don't they don't stay long. I don't think they can hold the energy that long. You know, the, the physical. Like if you went to the local saloon or something. <laughs> yeah, I know we are out west. <laughs> Any more energy to your to that uh, left side of your head? Thank you. Um, Archangel Michael said we're not allowed to bank. <laughs> How about a birthday blessing then? <laughs> Please. <laughs> that we can do. That we can do. From Heal Teach Love. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not contacting any of my dark aspects just for you. Sorry, Julie. <laughs> I, just I, have, I have got some dark ones that could probably do that. I believe probably. I'm good at the dark much. ones. I just said whoever comes through for fun, <laughs> out of love, and just joy and have a good time. And laughter. <laughs> Good on all the dark ones. Oh goodness! Thank you, Linda. Way overdue. Let me feel down your spine and across your hips too. If there was uh, something going on, so we. You got pain in your hand. In my hand. Yeah. yeah. I, my, I made a sword. Yeah. Don't put it in your hand. <laughs> okay. No, my hand's yeah. fine actually. Yeah. I just said that unless it was just your energy went through my hand. How's your ear? Um, it feels like tingly, like something's tingling on out of it. So that's good. Mm, a lot, yeah, of, energy, my body lot of energy. Good. Yeah, mm -hmm. good energy. It feels nice and lit. <laughs> that yeah. was probably the energy from you going into my hand and that's a release. It couldn't, couldn't have hurt much. Yeah. Hope you don't hold. 
<laughs> I'm just infinite, not old. Why is there an infinite preserved? <laughs> you may feel some down, some energy down your spine and across your hips too. That was a long spanking. <laughs> One of my aspects was Moses. You want me to get him to use his stuff? Yeah, because I was going to tell you about my explorations with the tuning fork episodes. Hey, I've been using some tuning forks tonight. I didn't oh, tell yeah? I, yeah, I got to tell... Oh, hey. I got to tell you what happened. <laughs> yeah? Should I, should I tell you now? Go sure. on. Um, so I've been exploring them and using them, and... Um, and pushing them probably in ways that nobody else has, putting them on my microphone in my studio and then um, putting some reverb and effects on them. And then I get to a point where I can kind of grow the sound and then it starts into like a ball and then it kind of overloads and shoots into the corners and the speakers and then it shoots inside of me or whoever's in the room. And then it feels like I'm the radio and it amps up inside of me and it shoots around and then it, it keeps re reaching higher octaves and. Um, like overtones higher and higher and it gets like different I, it feels angelic um and it shoots and if i put them up in the air and things like that or point the forks at my heart um it just like grows really loud to the point where you think you can't take it and you just get this kind of high energy so that was one of the really cool things i did or like have been working with but then there's one other thing that happened i was doing that and no joke and this is reality my speakers i started my speaker on fire <laughs> Uh, so wow. I'm serious, it got ruined. Yeah, so um, it, it was really cool, but it was an expensive speaker, but whatever. But yeah, there was a, I smelled smoke, but I kept going and then... um. When you smell smoke, of, it might be a sign that you need to no, investigate. No, no, real fire, real fire. <laughs> like there was a real flame that came out of the top. So I, I stopped that one. But yeah, I started a fire with the forks too. So maybe um, asking for guidance and protection and... um. Just protection of my environment while while I hone this energy, I guess. But it was pretty cool. But yeah, I started to speak on fire. I would do that before you start your using the tu the tuning forks to do that because what happens is the energy got so strong, mm -hmm. it um it it overtook the and that's when that's when you say okay, don't let you know. Can you make sure that it doesn't get out of control? Yeah. Yeah. Right. When I did. When I use Dragon Breath, I ended up, I've got a redecorated my bedroom that I'd already decorated because it put a crack, half inch crack through the new wallpaper, through the yeah. wall, straight to the other side. Right. Yeah, yeah. I prefer to keep my home and environment safe, but it was pretty cool, but yeah. You gotta say stop. Stop. It's a quick one. A quick one. You just cheat. You're cheating. You're looking at the cards and picking one. <laughs> Well, I'm in trouble with ages. <laughs> I'm cheated. I won't cheat with you. Well, you're looking at you're looking at them, and you're gonna pick one. But I, I'll take. No, I pick... picked all three. I've oh, okay. given you three because it's your birthday. I wouldn't cheat. Okay. You might, you might give me a spanking. <laughs> right, blessings. Mhm. Mm which basically means that an extra blessings from your angels. Uh, new love. New love. Wow. Open your heart, divine love, and a possible new friend may even be a spanker. Yay! Divine <laughs> guidance. You are you are being gui guided by your intuition. So, you Thank go. you. <laughs> there you, you go. About, what do you think about the name Looney Tuner for the my tuning fork name? Looney Tuner. <laughs> for Looney Tunes. <laughs> it de depends on which uh, dimension it is. It's spelled different in two dimensions, though. Well. Wouldn't you want it to be a, a higher dimensional tuner? <laughs> or if you have a, Why would you, you want loonies? Because it's just funny, Looney Tunes, you know. Uh, well, um, that's, that's actually money in Canada. Oh, no, Looney Tunes is a cartoon. I know. All right, I'm six. I'm not talking I, about the, the, the Looney the Tunes were around when I was a kid. I know I that. They're very Tunes. old. No, yeah, like, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, but they were spelled different when you were a kid. You know they changed. The ch Mandela effect. We changed ten years so, ago. So were the Flintstones and the oh, Jetsons. Oh, oh, oh. They all changed. We or obviously you in a, a crap if you timeline. Have a name, <laughs> if you have a name for the Looney Tune, or I mean the Tuning Fork lady that you could recommend, let me know. Okay. And thank you. Yeah, spanking with with Tuning Fork. 
I I'm getting off the yet. subject. I'm getting off. I the just subject. wanted to let you know that the Canadian money is loonies and toonies. That's yeah, why. yeah, I know, I know. Oh. <laughs> yeah, not that kind. The cartoons, Tasmanian Devil, all those ones. I know, <laughs> I know. All righty, Lily. All right, thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome, honey. Happy birthday. Thank How you. old are you? Twenty-one. Um, I told you I'm infinite. I'm preserved. Right. I'm I'm actually forty-one. Are you really? Mm-hmm. You look so young. Not that 41 is old, you're younger than my children. Yeah, yeah, just be joyous and be happy is the key. It's very and strange. don't attach that... to human time is the key too. It's you mean, that's, a, that's the same age as me, 41. Oh, pfft. <laughs> <laughs> I, I look like 41. Okay. 57 and 57. <laughs> thank you, and thank you See Moses you and the staff too. <laughs> you're okay. welcome, honey. Well, Lily. Okay, the next one is Linda. Linda. Hello. Hi, Linda. Pleasure to be here. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Linda feels like she's already buzzing. <laughs> Let's see. You're an empath too, Linda. You feel everybody's energy as well. That's why you're already buzzing. Yeah, I haven't figured out what energy is what and who's is who's, but... Mm. You, um, your heart chakra is a little blocked. Have you been bruised lately recently has somebody hurt you um yeah i'm still holding on to yeah i haven't released everything i'm holding on to some victim mentality over st stupid little things and yeah a family member family member yeah a few yeah a couple unawake ones and, an, and one yeah one one. yeah okay. that's what that's what um actually it's archangel michael's thing he's saying it's okay you can let it go now <laughs> it's not yours just release it because you know it in the long run you can't you, sometimes you're, you're you're fighting something that's just, just a losing battle they have to make up their mind you have to make up your mind your path is your path their path is their path yeah arguing yeah. sometimes yeah. you're arguing well, and well, it's there like haven't been, i haven't talked to a couple medical staff sisters in quite a while yeah um, I want to open it up to be there for them when they maybe wake up because it's going to be brutal on them. And, yeah. yeah. I'm holding resentments and yeah. I can't yeah. believe that you're supporting that evil. But they, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Doesn't matter because, you know, even if they, it, it, even if they don't ever wake up, it doesn't really matter because they're, you know, they, it's not the end for everybody because we're, we're infinite beings. They, yeah. They, you know, they, they get another lesson. It's not like they don't get lessons. We continue to have lessons. We never stop learning. Yeah. Mm. This is just. This is this is just a. a uh, you know, we're all here for the experience. We're not here to. You know, this isn't just a one and done deal. That's what we're here for. Just the experience. So. Yeah. And I've kind everybody of up. I'm trying to wake everybody up in the world when I'm I out. Know. Least, least, least. It's so hard. You know. Yeah. We all have family members that are so, they just look at us like we're not, like we've got, you know, this tinfoil hat. We all do this. And we always want to say, oh, I love you so much and I wish you'd just open your eyes. Well, I kind of have. I went in kind of full hard on in the beginning and shut things down. Yeah. 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 Just don't take it personal. Don't hold yeah, on to I it. I can't. I take everything personal. Excuse <laughs> me. <laughs> What I'm saying is, don't take it in, inside. <laughs> don't keep hold yeah. of it because yeah. it can make you worse. Basically. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And and it's what it does is it builds up and it and it causes sometimes you you get sick. Um, yeah. it, your heart chakra will get have like bruises on it. It actually just closes off part of it. So we yeah. want to take care of that today. And you're such a and you too are also a healer. You want to heal people. You are. I am healed, yes. Marcturian root race. You are, um, even when you were a little girl, you wanted to be a nurse. <laughs> you wanted to, you wanted to make everybody's boo-boo go away. I can see you as a little girl. Yeah, I worked as a candy striper and, yeah. So what, what's, what are you connected to, Arcturian? Pardon me? Did you say you're connected to Arcturian or am I just doing it? Yeah, my right else? root race is Arcturian, currently residing as Palladian in the sixth, is what I'm, my starseed mm -hmm. reading says, but one of them. Yeah. 
actually you just got to download it. It was a square box with loads of symbols on. I had a clue what. Couldn't translate it. <laughs> Normally downloads fixed and you can't see it. I saw it, but I don't know what it means. <laughs> and my aspects will tell me. But, yeah. He has the Mother Mary also, Raphael Mother Mary line, which is famous. So yeah. Can you tell anything about Anna, the grandmother of Jesus, Anna? <sighs> oh, just vibrate. Feel that. Oh. That's platinum, right? Yeah. Good old platinum. You're going to get a lot of healing in, in life. In fact, I'll send you some healing from 60, the galactic chakras, your galactic chakras, and see if you can feel that. There's some energy going through your third eye right now, into and your heart chakra being cleared, your throat chakra as well. Did you feel that energy from 60? You had some arthritis going on too that's going to be healed. You've got fine work going on that's being healed in your and also in your elbows, in your wrists, in your hands, your knees, your hips. You're going to feel all this energy in your ankles. You have a um, timing on your heart is off a little bit. It's going to be corrected. I'm like a heart murmur coming through your intestines and into your stomach doing healing there and in your bladder. Some of this may be for future, because we do see future, but that's being corrected now, so you won't have any future problems. I don't see anything else. Yeah, I can... <sighs> How are you feeling? <laughs> Buzzing. <You're> glowing. <laughs> she is glowing. <laughs> I, um, I was very surprised when you're talking about that arthritic stuff, and the, the future. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we yeah, see, I, we see current, we see past, present, and future, and uh, it gets corrected now. Unless it's something you contracted to experience, but then we can't do it. Then Phil, then Phil interrupts us and breaks the rules. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I'm taking psychic development classes, and and, and it's, wow. I'm just starting to get very tuned in. I'm just shocked, and like, yeah, my teacher is just amazed, and so am I. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I um this in my shoulder blades, my my angel wings are you know they they haven't finished growing yet, and it just <laughs> there's always a yeah constant discomfort there. Oh, just relax now. You're all set. Say oh. stop. That's all you need. The magic words. Stop. <clears throat> Friendship, soulmate. Hmm. You're surrounding friends that have lost interest. You're, you're basically getting rid of old friends and getting in new ones. Yeah, and the soulmate says it all. Right? You, mm. you can find a soulmate with the same goals. You can manifest, connect, and believe in the person. That's a soulmate, not the twin flame. Yeah, soulmate. Paul, oh, he's still working on things. <laughs> soulmate's twin. better than a, turn, than a twin flame. Twin yeah. flame just triggers you and everything. Yeah, they sound kind of scary at times, though. Twin flame is just like a twin brother. It's twins. It's same egg, you know, it gets split. Like a mirror. More like a mirror. Yeah. But they can trigger you. They've got all your keys and codes. And when uh, when I connected to Paul from Australia, God, she she completely triggered me. Completely went through an awakening. Just talking to her. I can't hear you very well, Phil. Yeah, I was just saying I went through an awakening just with her, what she was speaking. Just her speaking went through an awakening. Yeah. Quite shocking, actually, when you're not expecting it. <laughs> yeah. How do you feel? Do you feel like you've just feel, showered in platinum and red? Yeah, I feel, yeah, it feels good. Good. Feel oh, like at the beach, yeah. innit, and having sunshine. <laughs> well, this is funny. Why did beach come to you? My trainer, Psychic Alley, she's in the UK. Her twin flame, they've just connected over the last few years. He's in Florida, Siesta Keys. And I thought of it when you were shuffling. He, on their show the other night, he was shuffling. He goes, oh my God, I was watching myself. I got to make sure the cards are up on camera. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. It was hilarious. Anyway. <laughs> oh. So you don't see parasites or cockroaches or? Nope. Wow. No. Wow, that's fabulous. <laughs> just yeah. just a, a bit of baggage you need to release, that's all. Yeah. Life's baggage. Yeah. Keeping all of your baggage. At least everything yeah. that's not yours. 
Yeah, well, there's really, a financial fear and yeah, I'm 63 years young and don't know what I'm going to do when I grow up. I'm, I'm 68 and I found out, we found out six years ago what we're going to do. Yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> Well, thank I you thought, so much. Yeah, I, I thought I was 42, but I've been told I'm 57. <laughs> thank you, Linda. Thank you all so much. Bless you're you welcome. all. You're welcome. Thank you. All right, Lily. Lily. Um, Delara has a question. She had healing earlier, and she's asking if that was the same as body scan or yes. different. Who who has that? Delara. Uh -huh. There. Yes. I. I Yes, yeah. uh, Rick scans you, and and I get the messages. That's the same thing. Okay. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Wait, Wendy's next. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hi, Wendy. Hello. Hi, you guys. Merry Christmas. And, yeah, I, th I think you. Merry Christmas. Oh, look at how festive you are. That sweater. I have an ugly sweater party tonight, so this is my <laughs> ugly sweater. But I think they're cute, actually. They're those little boss sheets, you know those. Yeah. That's kind of like, yeah, actually, I've seen a lot of them in the supermarket. Yeah. <laughs> I think they're from yeah. the um, Grommel Grommel the English show uh, Gromit and eh, I forget the name. They have those sheep in them, though, you know? W Wallace. Wallace and Gromit, thank you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, okay. So, I've been filling something on my. Well, I'll let you do your work. <laughs> <laughs> on your where? On your back, did you say? Well, yeah, there's always something on my back. Um, I was going to say it's on my, my right hip. But I today, so when I was like, okay, I'm going to join this call, all of a sudden I can feel it moving around. So I'm like, Jesus, do I have another implant? It's like, they're following me. <laughs> yeah, implants don't tend to move. It tends to be parasites. And uh, parasites of tech, tech, yeah, spiritual parasites have uh, intelligence, so they move around. They normally feed off an area, give you pain there. And then they live in a different area, so people like me don't kill them. <laughs> got, she's got a, she's got a couple. She's, she's got a few parasites. She's got a, she's got a, a big moth on her back. Oh, oh moth. the moth. And huh. then you've got, you've got, um, well, it looks like Is a it white. Yeah. I had a dream about that big white moth uh, well, months it, ago. Months. I mean, like almost like six or seven months ago. Wow. Mm. You have um, in your hip. You have a. Um, it's like a worm, worm or the, the, a night, a night is, crawler. Yeah, the, the thing is, these aren't evil. They're just 4D Yeah, they're not, yeah, that, they're not, yeah. They're they're feeding just, on you. <laughs> yeah, right. They're yeah. taking my energy is what I get, is yes. what yeah. they're doing. Have you been but, tired? Yes. <laughs> That's why. As a matter of fact, I um, I got plenty of sleep last night, and I'm like, like earlier today, like we got back from getting, um, we went to brunch for my daughter's birthday. And uh, and I was like, oh my god, like I just want to go back to sleep, and I had plenty of sleep, so I'm so confused. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's it's a little bit frustrating. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I keep trying to do protection. I'm like, what am I not doing? Mm -hmm. Sorry, it's real. I, I've I've actually not recently, but ten years ago, I used to get them to do healing people, and I had to blow them up with. Yeah, I had to blow them up with temperature. And the best best one was this healer like, couldn't move her arms because she had a worm in her arms. And the person that she was healing had had a parasite in, it, in her knee for 25 years, but didn't know, had steroids in her knee, destroyed the own life. So the parasite went onto the healer. I got hands, transferred it over. Her arms were great then, she could move. And I saw it and I was thinking, I'm going to be seriously ill here. So I starved uh, myself for 24 hours. See, the following day, 11 o'clock, I overeaten my body to 106 or was it 40, 40 centigrade. And I blew it up. I was seriously all on the toilet all night. <laughs> so, so it's a way of getting rid of it, but it's just too big, too fat and lazy. So. Well, you so, know, it's, it's not really that it's frustrating for me, but I just know that it's the case. Like, I know I'm supposed to be able to start seeing these things. And I'm like, and <coughs> I actually just had a dream of, I don't know, maybe a week ago where I had like a gift bag and there were like all these boxes. And then, and then before that, I had a dream where I'm still drawing it, but see these triangles, they're like pyramids, one up and one down. They were like side by side, but they were like blocked, like, um, like bricks. And then they were colored. So it was, I know it was codes. 
Um, but I don't know what they were for. They were like, you know, different colors, like red, green, yellow, blue, different co colors. Um, obviously, I, 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 I actually channeled the information about 10 years ago, and I was told that the pyramids up are exactly the same down. So it's like a like a, a star shape, if you know what I mean. Yeah, see, normally that's how we would see it, like the pyramid on this side and then the pyramid on this side. I don't yeah. know what they call it. Yeah. Right. But these were side by side, like in my dream. They were like totally side by side. So I was like, oh, I wonder what that was. But that's interesting that that moth came. Hmm. And it was a giant moth. It wasn't just a small moth. It wasn't like a little fluttery moth. No, that's a, this, one, this is a giant one. It's hairy. Like yeah. the body, the body's hairy. Yeah, I think I even might have drawn it in my notes. I can't tell you how far back. I'd have to like look. Did you name it? No. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? I I was talking to Susan and Joan about it before it happened or after it happened. I was like, yeah, I had this dream about this giant moth. Like it was this giant moth on this tree. It was huge. <laughs> Apparently, I brought it back with me. I guess it's been hanging out <laughs> with me for a while. It's it's probably feeding off your thing. <sighs> I'm a dilemma now. Now I know it's not evil. Do I kill it or do I try and take it off and send it somewhere? <laughs> where do you want to send it? it? Ask it where it wants to go. Yeah, but the problem is I've got to, I've got an entity that I made that eats parasites and he won't be impressed. <laughs> so, yeah. I'll, I'll see what happens. He's fed anyway before he fed on that gin. And I've been telling them, you guys like can't be feeding off me. I'm just like, you can't be draining me like that. I'm sovereign, but they don't want to listen. <laughs> oh, and I was recently uh, with a group healing where I was the recipient of healing, but it was also a group and I could feel the energy. Like I was like yawning through like that. So I don't know if I ended up picking stuff up from there too. Yeah, because you don't know people are healing you or giving you something that you don't want. Ooh, I feel that on my back. It's like it's, like it's hanging on, like I don't want to go. Dragging it up. Right? You must let go. Let go now. Do not have resolution. Let go. Hmm. Nice energy. Thank you. <laughs> okay. I didn't, we didn't kill it. Yeah. I know. It's still there. I can feel it. <laughs> but I can feel your energy. We're getting, we're getting it off. We're not going to kill it. I'm changing my uh, angle. The worm might go wrong. I can just feel that it's not got it like solid in my spine now. Now I'm feeling something on my right rib. The actual, uh, the moth has gone. You might feel it there, but it's just the damage it's done. In your field, it's just like an echo. Let me ask the, um, uh, I have a pink dragon I'm working with from Archangel Shamuel. He just, and she's like a love dragon. I'll just ask her to bring some love flame in, do some healing work. Just for you, Wendy, I've given you some of my chi energy just to build your aura field that it's been draining. Thank you. And you know what's crazy is I'm always like pulling energy in every day, multiple times from source. So they probably love me. They're like, all right, here comes dinner. <laughs> Build it. No wonder it was big. <laughs> but yeah, I'm feeling it or one of the other ones on my right rib. And now it's like moving. That's, it's toward actually below it. Then you my stomach. It. Yeah. Now it's help <sighs> me me chip bunks going in now. You can eat that one. Thank you, thank you. I don't know where to put a worm back. <laughs> I'm not yeah. sticking it for me. And then while you were talking to Lily, I felt this pressure show up on my um, top left of my temple. Is it helpful that I know where these are happening? <laughs> no, it's okay. I think I know what I so I'll take it out of here. Oh, okay. I'm just getting that when my aura is depleted, it's hard for me to build my own shielding. The aura to, field is your shielding. Okay. Yeah, Nora, but I'm Nora saying Nora. that I'm, it's yeah. hard for me to like build it to strengthen it when I'm yeah. weakened. So how yeah. can it be strong if it's weakened? So I've given you some of my chi energy. The best way to uh, lift someone's aura field is using your chi because okay. it's using your soul energy, and that that is the best energy to actually build up aura field around someone's body. Better okay. and it's even better than probably Christ consciousness. It's, it's the best energy to use because it's near enough oh. the same energy. Okay, well, yeah, it's all just under my ribs here. <laughs> that tickles. <laughs> That's in my upper shoulders. <laughs> it's all been replaced with healing energy and white light. Mm, thank you. It's got a little 
tingly buzz all the way through my body <laughs> and on my crown too. <laughs> Maybe I should put a bug zapper net around me <laughs> so that if there's parasites trying to come into my auric field, they get zapped by a buzz zapper. That's, it's, I think it's just keeping your vibration high. I don't, I don't know whether it... Just giving you some 20 second chakra images now. Flatten and right, Christ consciousness. Mm. Yeah, I feel that in my head. How was that? It feels good. Wow. <laughs> uh, they're going to have to like start having schools of how to manage these fourth dimensional beings that are taking advantage of us. <laughs> what are well, people doing that have no idea that this is going on? <laughs> uh, well, they get a lot of pain for many decades. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's why like people have pain all the time. I think and Phil was made me aware that a lot of times people with the lollipop. Um, yeah. It's shedding when when you're around them, you're getting the stuff from them. And oh, yeah, and I had it. So I think I reversed it. Okay. Yeah, you did. You did the healing for it. So yeah. and I haven't done anything since then. And I'm like, I'm not getting. Yeah, it. but you're around. Uh, you're around a lot of people that have. I, I, yes. I've no, I went to a funeral last week, and half of them, they had their own illness. They, they were creating their own illness, and I ended up getting the bloody thing. But I had to clear that and. Uh, at the funeral, I was given food poisoning, <laughs> like, like you do. <laughs> and that, you know what? Hmm? That is so funny that you say that, because I said the same thing. I went out shopping, and I was like picking some stuff up, just like at a local store. And it wasn't in there for maybe about an hour, that I came home, and I was like ready to like bite my mother's head off. She didn't do anything but say, oh, how was it? You know, how's your night? Or what, you know, how? And I was like, don't talk to me. I mean, it was like, it was like, evil wicked like i mean that's not what i said to her i was just like just i was just grumpy right and i was like i have no reason to be grumpy whatsoever like this like where is this anger coming from and all i could feel all i could figure out is that while i was there is that i just picked up all that energy of people's frustration standing in line you know waiting to like get this like all there's like shopping and whatever they needed to get done and i just brought that energy home with me it cleared most of it overnight but um, well, yeah. then at the funeral, they gave me food poisoning. And because they had their own illness from the lollipop, they gave me that as well. So as the food poisoning cleared, I ended up, uh, ended up with that. I actually fell today as well and banged the back in the head. So it's been a great week. Gosh. And I, I've got another funeral next week. <laughs> Coincidence, eh? <laughs> that, that's, my, that's my ninth death this year. Oh, my Nine. gosh. And it's two possibles. I might, I might break, break my record to eleven. I, I wonder what it is. I wonder. My gosh, yeah. that this, that's just so crazy. It just really is. Three, three of my um, uncles have gone. So. I, I actually, I actually had a an incident the other night where I was literally, I was like sitting watching TV and just relaxing and you know I'll, I'll do my meditation and whatever and sometimes like the tv because my mom will be there watching tv and then sometimes i'll sit down and eat my dinner and do my kind of do my meditation and connect in that while i'm eating dinner and just you know kind of because to me it's like quiet that time i'm not thinking about anything and then all of a sudden i was like sick to my stomach and i was like oh god i'm gonna get sick and then i was like i gotta lay down i'm gonna pass out and so that i mean it just like just this overwhelming like illness so i literally i just was like I can't move. And I just like lay down and I like, I like fell asleep and I felt sick. I fell asleep. And then when I got up, I, I felt like I couldn't get up. I'm like, I need to go to bed. Like I got to go to work tomorrow. And, and I, I couldn't, I, I couldn't, I was just like, I was like, I can't get up yet. And so then I, I just like, I mean, that exhaustion was, re it was just over the top. So <laughs> uh, I, I do think it, I think it's people are creating illness, different variants and everything and uh we we attract them we attract yeah them. can you check my um please my my house for portals that yes. are creating negative energy especially my okay. mom tends to be a bingo and yeah <laughs> Bring some, uh, there's a lot of, a lot of weekly like she's like gotta be the weekly yeah. so. casinos and bingo a lot of dark stuff yeah because that's both of her vices you said them both <laughs> do you have a basement yes there's my one. husband is there's one there 
Yeah. My is husband's. There, is there water there? Water in the basement? Or near it? Have you got a river in uh, There's a lake. Okay, in our backyard, I have a pond that is seasonal. So, like in the spring, when it's like everything's melting and there's a lot of wet, it gathers water. Yeah, I, I think that's the uh, part of the portal. It is one in the, in the cellar. I think it's linked to that, to the stream. Yeah. In the back of the house, you go down the stairs. And when you come down the stairs, straight back, in the back of the house. Oh, yeah. Well, my husband's got a big, they've got a big game TV there, too. Well, there's a portal. Is there a bathroom downstairs? There's not a bathroom. There's the laundry room that's there. So. Is there a laundry room towards the back of the house? It's not. So when you come down the stairs into the, you come down the stairs into the basement and then you go left and then left to go to the laundry room. And then when you go straight back, there's a small space in between our house. So that just, it's the wall, the main wall, um, which is the outside of the house, which is on the west side of the property. And then there's a small, like an alleyway, maybe six feet between our two houses. And then the next house is right there. And we've have had like, when we've got like flooding or whatever, like a lot of rain, like they have had like water in the basement. We've had it before. So we've had to like had our house, like the basement sealed and stuff so that water doesn't come in. Um, you have activity in the house. You must have activity in the house. Yeah, there's, oh yeah, there's things happening in here all the time. So I'm always trying to stage, clear, bring white light. <laughs> That's what dragons for help. <laughs> yeah. no, no good when it's inside the house. <laughs> you've, got, you've got portals in the basement. I, and I want to say there's one in the laundry room, and I want to say there's one in the back of the house. Is that why Bob's having problems with his plane? <laughs> Is he bringing stuff to his job? Well, the portals, cut. That, that's their portals. They're coming in and out. They're not your portals. You didn't create these portals, though. So they're portals from um, other beings. Okay. Sometimes what we do, did it with me, they go back in your timeline look where your house is before you move there and create the portals there, yeah? Oh. We, we create the portals and then when you move in, you think it's everything's normal, but it's part of the fiction, it's part of the energy of the house. Yeah, it's mm. very cunning, I, I have one in the... Uh... Do you know what's interesting? A couple of nights ago, I had a dream. Well, I say nights, but it's like I wake up in the morning, so it's like my consciousness, maybe that last hour right before I wake up. And I had a dream where I was in the back of the house right like literally my house my patio and then there was a hole and my dog was falling into the hole and I was like whoa what, did, what happened and, and I said to Bob I said did you dig a hole here and then and then the hole Cosmo fell into the hole and I was like wait what is this so then I was like looking so I was like on my stomach in my dream I was on my stomach looking like underground and I was like wait a second there's only like three or four feet of soil and then there's nothing like there's open like why is it open under my house and so um and then I was looking and I could like see like some structures and stuff but it like mostly was like like a whole nother like property or something under my house and then and then all of a sudden then Cosmo he started to climb out like part of the ground or something anyway he started to climb out so I grabbed him and I pulled him out of this portal I guess it was a portal right I pulled him out of this hole in the ground and then I was just like looking trying to figure out and I was like oh we need to get some dirt in there and close that up so interesting I guess I'm trying to tell myself messages and yeah, I just, yeah. That, that's where the portal is in the back of your house right there but it goes into your house Oh my God, Jesus Christ. <laughs> and you're dreaming about it and you're sitting there going, okay, well, yeah, that's where your portal is right there. <laughs> oh. Yeah, back of my house and my You already know about it, but you're dreaming about it. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, so you dream about your butter, your moth. And your my moth, I dreamt about my moth. Shoot, yeah, the, be the best protection is crystal grid create a massive grid in little crystals in certain places. I have crystals all through my house. In all but four corners? Pro all, program yeah, them. Corners. All program them. Corners. What are they programmed huh? to do? Well, the ones in my bedroom are programmed to protect me at night. The ones that are here are programmed to help clear. My crystal skull grid, they are programmed to just support me in like what, anything like whatever I'm doing. But what about I'm just doing. programming to stop portals getting in the house? <laughs> protect, <laughs> protect the house. Just protect the house. You don't have to protect me. Protect the house. And then you protect protect my house and don't allow any portals. Okay. Unless okay. I create them, unless they're my personal portals. Boy. Yeah. And then I'm usually asking Archangel Michael, you know, like put a 
put a pyramid and fill it up with violet flame and you know so well violet flame is saint germain yeah i i know it's saint germain but so i'm but i'm saying i'll ask archangel michael to like protect the outside of this pyramid that's around my property because before i used to just do like just white light in the house not outside the house and then i'm like okay i need to extend this so then i started doing the pyramid outside the property with um archangel michael having you know the blue light on the outside of the pyramid yes and then inside the pyramid i would work with the violet flame which is saint germain energy just right. like you said so um yeah i don't know what else i can need to do <laughs> so are the portals closed <laughs> i'm doing it now i'm just visiting them to see what's in oh yeah one's, see what's in one's there. like it one's like in a is there some is there tell me if there's a bean in there with a the long brown hand because I was doing something and all of a sudden this long brown hand came over and like grabbed me on my chest and I was like, what? And I bit its arm like it was chocolate. <laughs> it's kind of like, you don't belong here. <laughs> okay, is that your energy back in my stomach? <laughs> I think it's closed now. Two different beings. Two different portals. Mm. And did something hop back in my stomach just as you were closing those portals? <laughs> I don't know. <sighs> that's, that's a question, isn't it? I'll, I'll let you have Bob. Yeah, Bob's going in to take it. If you got anything there. All right, thank you. Done. Bob. Done. Wow. We, did, we didn't protect them, that did we? Ah, sneaky thing. Yeah, they're sneaky. It looks like a frog. <laughs> it was a frog earlier. I didn't tell you in the fro. That was a fro. Hmm. It's as well 4D is like. Look at the weirdest creatures. Like, like what your, the heck? Your freaking, home is full of 4D. A freaking frog. A freaking frog. I think it's gone now. Is it gone? We should know. Bob, we should I still feel it. The chipmunks it might still be there doing their little business. Yeah, eating it. Yeah. Have a good dinner, guys. Are they Chippendale? <laughs> Chippendale. I think it's Bob. Bob. You want Chippendale? Oh, it's Bob. Bob. It's a, yeah. a Chipmunk cat. You know the cartoon Chip and Del? <laughs> <laughs> what it was, it was a squirrel Bob. I was creating to eat uh, implants and negative beings. And he spoke like a chipmunk. And that's why I called him a chipmunk. And that's why you call him a chipmunk? <laughs> he spoke like a chipmunk from the TV. That was dead that weird. It's gone. Thank you, folks. That's great. <laughs> So strange. I was like, what the heck? Oh, yeah. Which which means my husband probably has garbage on him too and my mom too. But now that I know about it, I can I should be able to clear them out. Yeah. Crystals I, should stop it. I yeah, if you, I am. If you set you the right program. program. Sometimes yeah. it's the way you program it. Yeah. yeah it might I'll protect you, but it doesn't mean it protects your house if you get one. Yeah. Archangel Michael okay. says that to go into your toolbox and your in in your heart space and and, and pull through the, the energy that you need them okay for yourself bring through the diamond white light okay yeah we didn't come with uh instruction manuals <laughs> i know i know they just, they just sent us and they're like here you go <laughs> yeah we came without me without memory that's the problem learn, right you know. learn on the job yeah. <laughs> what do they call that um ojt on the job training <laughs> yeah we're starting to remember though yeah, yeah. It, it, if you want to go above the 22nd chakra into your galactic chakras, bring energies from there, but only do it selectively because uh, you might not be able to hold the energy because you, we're still 3D beings, but it's good experience even for five minutes. Yeah, yeah I've, I've had, I've held those higher energies on one or one, once or twice and you're just like, damn, <laughs> because yeah. uh, for me, it feels very, I always call it quantum, but it's definitely when you're in the higher vibration and you just feel like you're like, Ooh. feel like you're going full collapse, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> you're going drop. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that's, that's crazy. But well, you guys have been at this like all day. Yes. We have one more person that just arrived too. Wow. Your hair looks yeah. super cute, by the way. Oh, thanks. Thank uh, you. Only, only five and a half hours. Oh, I met Rick. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I deserve that, right? <laughs> uh, give her her cards. Give her her cards. You know I met you. Right. Oh, yeah. Do a card. Do a card. 
Yeah, I, I, I did miss the England getting beat against France. I don't know, anyway. So I suppose you won that one. Tell, tell us one. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Stop. Yeah, I'm giving you an extra one tonight. Uh oh. Generous tonight. So the first one, listening. Got a, glare, got a glare on him. This confirms that you're listening with your knowledge to intuition. So you're listening to the spirit world, so, and you're acknowledging. So your intuition is correct. Blessings. You're getting extra blessings off the angels. Yeah, off the archangels. And forgiveness. You may feel you should be angry with someone, but you know the score there. Never let anything out. Angry, really angry. Yeah, yeah. Send love. Let's send love to that moth. Yeah, send it love to the moth. Goodbye, moth. Thank you for being Thank gone. <laughs> I feel much better when you're not here. <laughs> wow. You know what? Next time I start having those kind of animals show up in my dreams, I'm going to be like, all right, you need to go. <laughs> <laughs> it's been nice visiting with you, but bye bye. <laughs> it's like premonition. Yes. Man, oh man. Uh, that's like remote viewing something behind you. Quite good. So, yeah. That's your intuition. That is actually your, 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 your t uh, oracle card. Listening, you're listening yeah. to yourself with your intuition. Yeah, that's good. Wow. That's I confirming it. That. Yeah. All right, you guys. You guys are amazing. I can't tell you enough how much I love you. <laughs> Thank you. I love you too. All right. Uh, Carrie just arrived, so we're gonna do Carrie, and then that'll, that'll end our day today. Hello. Hello. Sorry, Carrie. Mate. Carrie contacted me. Um, we did her last week. Her, her it was your feet, your my yeah. ankle, my ankles. ankles. Yeah, I um, had the nerve test today. And but they can't tell you anything right now. I have to tell your doctor, and then he has to say something. But it didn't seem like there's anything huge, um, nerve pain wise. But they didn't really say. But they didn't seem alarmed. They, they did, did you, check my back. Did it hurt you when they did the nerve test? Um, it's like a shock. Yeah. Like, I know. I had. I had. I had it done all the way, my my feet, my legs, uh, all the way up to my my every the, the whole thing. Yeah, so. I had you my didn't... feet and legs done. It wasn't as bad as I thought it might be, but it wasn't good. <laughs> but I got through it. It's like, ah, ooh, you know, electric shock. But then it went away real quick. So I had to do what I had to do. But hopefully they find nothing and that I'm healed before that even happens. What I'm hoping for. But you're still in pain. You're telling but me. But I'm, I'm still in pain, and it's like a pinch, like almost like a pinch nerve between these two bones in my ankles on both sides, like a pinch. It's not a throb; it's the pain. Pinching. Yeah. How, like many, how many? Tendons. If it was ten words, one eat, not bad. What what number would you give it? You know, like you're a doctor, and they ask you for a number. Yeah. Yeah. Um, at night, it's like an eight, nine. Um, so when you're relaxed, it's higher. Well. When I'm on them a little bit during the day, I pay for it at night. It seems they get hot, right. and they're they're upset that I was on them during the day. Okay. But the pain is always kind of there. Um, I did take an aspirin or a Tylenol today. I think it helped it, but I don't well, like no, it. No, the Tylenol. No, so, yeah. Tylenol doesn't have anti-inflammatories in it. Well, it was a Tylenol with codeine, and um, it was the only one I could take for my nerve test because you had to use something that didn't have um, blood thinner. So. Okay. That's what I use today. But I'm trying to get off all, any pain meds. I hate them all. So what's the difference in you from a week ago to now? Nothing or is it any difference? Um, sometimes during the day, I feel a little bit better. But then mm. at night, it, it revs up again to the same pain that it was. Right. Okay. All right. Let's have a go. Okay. I think there's something in the house. In my house? Yes. Can you take the blurring off the back, off, off of your um? screen for me what do i do take the blurring off your screen oh i didn't do it on purpose what do i do no it's um on your are you on the phone or are you on I'm, a, I'm on my i'm on my phone um on your i don't I, know how to do this on the phone is there anything with dots on it dot 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 like your name where you put your name let's see it, it says blur background or blur screen or there's chat, show captions, meeting, minimize meeting, background effects. Maybe background, background effects. Oh, okay. I took the blur off. Okay. Yeah, there, you there you go. Okay. Do you have any mirrors facing each other? Like mirror to mirror? No, just one mirror here. 
behind any, me. Uh, any other mirrors in the house? There's one over um, on the side, over by the door, front door. And then um, I have some in my dining room, a mirror. We have mirrors in your bathroom too? Any mirrors facing each other? Mirror uh, to mirror? Uh, there's just the mirror and then a mirror, like where the um, the pharmacy, you know, the pharmacy. Medicine cabinet? There. Yeah, medicine cabinet. And then there's a mirror in the bathroom. Do they face each other? Um, they're side to side, like one's in the front and then one's on the side. Okay, that's fine. There is another mirror in there that's a little mirror that faces another mirror. That, okay. But you can move that mirror so it doesn't face it? I could take it off. Or you could take it off, okay. But they mirror. face each other? It doesn't matter what side. What you're doing yeah. is you created a portal. They're, oh, okay. So I'm telling you, there's something in your house. Okay. There's something and it has entry into your house that it comes to you. Okay. There's something. Should I go take it off now? Can you bring me, can you show me this mirror? Yeah, let's go. I want to say that um, I helped a neighbor. Uh, I had to clean her house because she was drinking and her house was a disaster and I cleaned it and, and there were flies and there were, um, there were little uh, fruit flies and the fruit fly bit me and I was cleaning her house and there were bottles everywhere. And I feel like after that, something got me something because I was trying to help someone clean their house and I felt like overwhelmed and I had to get all these bottles wine bottles out of the house and there were flies and bugs and they bit me and I bled and I feel wow. like something got me and wants to take me down because I helped her yeah well, what can happen is when someone is into drink addiction yeah. it brings yeah. in demonics and stuff like that I, I feel and like it did when you've been caught that can break our aura field and something can actually get in. It does sound like you're getting fed at night, something's feeding on you at night. So we, we could clear the energy, we've got to locate the thing and kill it. Here's a mirror. Yeah. And there's the one right behind it. Oh my God, yeah. Yeah, yeah you can see it. Take this down? Yeah. Okay. See, and that, they can just go back into that portal afterwards. That's the problem, they're, they're living in there. So that's gonna help them go away? Yeah. yeah. Did I put this out on my um, balcony? You can put it anywhere as long as it's not facing. Yeah, you can put it anywhere as long as it's not facing in, into okay. another, that's an ending yeah. portal. Okay. So here's the mirror, my mirror, and then I have this mirror. Yeah. Oh. Now, you had the portal right there with the other one facing it. Okay. What you didn't realize is, it, I mean, it was, it just creates an unending portal, like a tunnel. Okay, so we got rid of that. Yes. Okay, no more mirrors facing each other. I don't think, because I love mirrors usually. I have them everywhere. Okay, and then I have a mirror here, but there's no other mirror facing it. That's all right. Um, what well, well, it sounds like, it sounds like you brought something from the neighbor you helped. Yeah. And, and I have it's a- It's using a portal to, to get back home and then come back in. Yeah, because I helped her and it was overwhelming and it was a nightmare. And then the bugs were everywhere and I, you know, I. I stayed like three hours fixing it for her, but I feel like something got me that wants to get me because I was helping her. Yeah. Well, always go with your instincts. Well, Definitely. I didn't know that night. That night I just thought, help a friend. Yeah. So how do I get, get it off me? It's all right. Well, let us work on that. Okay. But that makes sense, right? Yeah. yeah. Perfect sense. Takes me out at my feet, <laughs> which I need for work. Just cl close and, uh, just feel the energy just coming up. Close my eyes? Yep. Yeah. It's um it's in the apartment. Can you feel it, Phil? I know. Can you feel anything? Any vibe anything on your feet and your ankles and your your feet at all right now? No, but I wasn't paying attention. The beans go, by the way. I feel a little shaky, hand shaking. I'm, I'm going to tell you what I just saw. It was um, Jesus with your feet in, in his hands, and he was wiping them clean. Really? Yes. Try to really? tell you what I saw with the demon. <laughs> it was a demon. My sword drew its negative energy, and it became, it was a soldier turned into a demon. A soldier? It was an ex-military soldier, World War One, I, I believe. It turned into like a de demonic. It must yeah. have been really evil, nasty thing. And my my weapon that I used 
drew its negativity and it just became a soldier. I've never seen that. It's like shape-shifting demon into soldier. Is he out? Yes. It, he's, uh, it's, yeah. it's gone to source. He's gone to source, yeah. Because yeah. night times are my hardest sometimes. Well, it won't be well, anymore because he's gone. Oh, great. There's no, more, there's no more negativity. That's why I'm saying, can you feel your feet? Because it actually had Jesus with it, your feet in his hand and he was wiping and with a cloth, wiping all of the all of the illness and any any of the uh, the pinched nerve, and he was actually wiping your feet. Well, it's definitely lighter. I mean, I had like all these veins earlier. It's definitely the the veins have lightened up. This, these beings create pain to feed on the negativity of the energy. Yeah, so they create the pain to feed on it. To feed oh, on I, it. I believe yeah. it. I believe something is trying to take me down. Yeah, not anymore. Well, it's gone. Gone. Yeah. gone. And I'll tell you what, I've never seen that before. <laughs> really? I have. I have. I, I've never seen a, a, a demonic getting its energy absorbed out, turning into a human. Turning into. We have one t once or twice. Uh, yeah. We had one turn into. Um, it looked. He kind of looked like. A, um, he had like the 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 uh, you know like Sir Galahad type thing with the yeah. sword like knights of the round table yeah yeah and he turned he turned from a demon into somebody like that he had the the, the chest plates and all that and I, and he went to the light by the black he, witch it turned light I, I, we turned it light because just a lot of anger anger for 500 years yeah i think i picked it up downstairs for sure well it doesn't matter now because it's gone really that's yeah. awesome oh my gosh so I might be healed, or I am healed? What do you are. <laughs> and Jesus was wiping my feet with his hands? It, it, with his, and he had a cloth, he had a cloth. You know how they washed his feet? Yeah. He did that to you. Oh, wow. Okay, it's okay, Marley. That's exciting. Uh, I can celebrate, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Okay. So th there's absolutely nothing negative in your house. Everything's closed off. That mirror's gone. Anything I can do on a daily basis, like sage or anything you think I should do? Just keep your vibration up. Just work yeah. on your vibration, that's all. That thing has been, I've been depressed. I had lower back pain and I've had other issues coming, you know? I just thought for sure it's trying to take me down. But all the, all the other, all the other pains was your anxiety and your, and yeah. being yeah. like this. Yeah. Just relax, just this do the breathing and just know that everything's gonna be fine now. And then this is my favorite time of year, and I have to sit in here day in and day out by myself. It's been awesome. Not anymore. Not anymore? Not anymore. Why? Oh my, <laughs> oh my gosh. Why do you have to do this anymore? I don't. No. It's I all don't. gone. It's all gone. Oh my gosh. Does a little bit more leave, or it's all gone? It's all gone. Oh my gosh. If that's true, I'm like in the presence of a miracle and Jesus and you guys. And oh my gosh. That would be awesome if I could walk around here with no pain. Let me try it. No pain, so, nope, no pain. So far, no pain. Nope, I'm not gonna expect any either. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. What about my lower back? Your lower back is fine. Oh, wow. You guys are miracle workers. You just don't take any demons home anymore. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, and they had to operate on her toenail and they didn't get it all. And then she had a big black sore by her toenail. She's had her own things with, with it in her house. Well, when you've got an addiction, you bring it in. She brought it in. It was a, she, her addiction brought it all in. Sometimes our demons do make you have this addiction. It's like a roller coaster. Well, I tried to help her, and mm. it definitely said, you know what, you're not helping her. I'm taking you down now. Mm. You know. Well, you know, they didn't want you helping her, but the, because they wanted to take her to their place. You know what I mean? Yeah. She they, helped they, them. They, they, Paramedics. They wanted a soul. They wanted a soul. The paramedics yeah. came and got her, and I helped her house. Mm. They, were, they were coaxing her. They, they were. They want a soul eventually. That's, that's what they're after. Can they, they still were, come in from her house? It's downstairs. Not in yours. No, not in my house. The no. chances are they would be too frightened to do that because we've just got rid of one of them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're Can a bit you like. One card? What? One card. Yeah, I need to. You're walking good. I'm, I am walking good. I just, I'm not going to expect it later. It's not going to happen. You're not, well, nope. 
you, no. you're not. You're gonna be no. fine. You're gonna be fine. Hey, say stop. Uh, it's been two months, three months, September, October, November, and December now. So you've got extra blessings of the angels. Yeah. Yes, yeah, that's okay. Ex extra yeah. blessings? Okay. You're getting extra blessings for your difficult time of the angels. And emerging, you are awesome, reveal your true gift. Get Leave all this and start getting your spiritual gifts going. Yeah. My spiritual gifts going? Yeah, yeah. start working on them. What do I do? Stop sure, like this? this trust trust your messages and keep your vibration high yeah oh, keep my spirits lifted and happiness yep be happy and trust the information that you get trust your trust your guidance i just can't believe it it's true i feel a little pinch a little pinch i felt on the right could You'll be a little be left, left over be fine i don't manifest it <laughs> huh try not manifest it back <laughs> don't manifest it back is no. right no it's cold don't manifest back. Nope. Okay. Okay. I know you guys need to go. Probably. <laughs> it's we've been going for six hours. <laughs> I know. I know. I came on the end. Thank you for taking me. You're welcome. Um, okay. So, uh, yeah, it's so funny because I've been getting money in my account a little bit from my mom, and I'm like, I feel like I can't even enjoy it or buy anything at all because I'm depressed and I'm stuck here and all this stuff in my head, you know. I'm like, of course, the money would come. A little money comes now when I'm when I can't get out and spend it. <laughs> but now I can. Yes, you can. You can get out and spend and, and enjoy yourself. Oh, yeah. thanks, Deb. Hey, last time I saw a black and white cat walking around back there. Oh, well, we don't have any more black and white cats. No, last time I saw a live walking back there. Yeah, we we don't have one anymore. Do you think that I just saw it in spirit? And you probably did. Um, because I saw a black and white cat behind you. Uh, you probably saw spirit. <laughs> I was like, I told my friend Susan, I said, I saw a black and white cat walking around behind him. And she's like, it passed away. And I said, yeah, I saw it walking around. So maybe that's you one probably of my saw you probably saw um, Harley in spirit. Yeah. yeah. Well, actually, we do have one black and white cat. We have um, we have um, Fred. Oh, that's a, we, do that's Fred. we do have oh, Fred. We do have Fred. That's what I saw. Yeah, we do have Fred. I yeah. keep forgetting for Fred is still here. <laughs> yep. But oh no, we miss our we miss there, we uh, miss Fred's, Harley. Yeah, Fred's saying they just ignore me now. Yeah, Fred's like <laughs> oh, what? I don't exist. But he hardly ever comes in here. Um Fred hardly ever comes in here. Harley used to all the time. This, he thought this was his bedroom. <laughs> oh really? Yes. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So um anything else I should work on? Spirit high. High vibration. Do, you can do morning mantras, wake up to say how good you are. Oh, gratitude, yeah. Seth? Yeah. Ground yourself, ground yourself. Ground myself. There's a video on my, mine and Deb's YouTube about uh, clearing, clearing. Uh, clearing prayer. That'd be great at once a day. What do I do, clearing uh, energy on uh, YouTube? You just listen to it. Yeah. A clearing? Yeah. Yeah, it's on our YouTube channels, both, oh, either one of ours. Oh, it is? It's, it's for clearing every day? Yep. Yes. Okay, I'll do it. Okay. Thanks. Love you guys. Welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good weekend. What's okay. All right. We have um we have our uh, final healing event of this year. Uh huh. And, the and it's for our pet our pet healing. When it's, is it? Uh, it's for pets. It's for animals. We do our animal healing next next Saturday. Okay. And uh, then we're off for the balance of the year. Where can oh. I we can. We, we do our, we do do adults after the animals if there's enough time. Which I have to show is. you. I have to show you something before you go. George. Oh, kitty, kitty! But look how amazing. Oh, ancient. So beautiful. Look how ancient. Oh, look at her eyes. Kid. Look at beautiful. her eyes. She's Are you beautiful. so pretty? Are you gorgeous, Annie? Her name's Annie. Oh, hi, Annie. Is she Annie. protecting me? She my protector. She is. She also sees all your angels and your guides. I know. She's always looking at stuff. Yeah, she does. She sees them. She's probably wondering. She's probably wondering why can't you see them? I see them perfectly. <laughs> oh, she stares at them, and I think they talk to her. Oh yeah, they do. They play with her. Oh, she runs in the other room at night. I can't play with her. She's been running around in the other room at night. Yeah, it's because she plays with your angels and guides. <laughs> really? Yes. Oh, is she from Egypt? No. No. No, no. 
She's the prettiest, sweetest cat on the planet. Yes, she is. Yeah. All right. Okay. <laughs> let me let me close this out. And uh, so next Saturday, uh, and then um, we'll be off for the balance of the year. Okay. Anyway, thank everybody for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you, Bye. Lily. Thank you, Bye. Lily, for help for uh, helping us out again today. I, thanks, Ryan. See ya. Thank you. Bye, Ryan. Thank you guys, and you, uh, take care. See ya. Thank you.